Start. Oh, there's combat in this? Wait, what? what kind of game is this? Not a point. Well, whatever it is, you're a sad clown. That's all I know. It looked like a point and click. <laughs> Some scenes in imagery may be disturbing. The following story is fictional and does not depict any real person or event. When the famous Vlad Circus caught fire burning to the ground in less than 10 minutes, the tragedy caused dozens of deaths, hundreds of injuries. 1922. The Owen's brother, owner's brother, Joseph Petrescu, was found guilty of starting the fire and sentenced to death by the electric chair. Sad clown. Eight years after the fire... Tresco House. Oh, wake up, hey, Justin. What time is it? I've overslept. I better hurry up. They should all be here by now. It's a kerosene lamp. It's a kerosene lamp. It is a lamp. Can I have that? A diary. Take. Thank goodness. Here it is. Vlad Petrescu's letter, April 1929. It sure took me by surprise. An invitation to meet my old friends. Vlad Circus will rise from the ashes. Brand new life. April 19th. It is. It has been almost a year since I left Pinhurst Asylum, but I can't get back to a normal life. I have been thinking about the letter from Vlad Petrescu. I received it during the spring. Is it really possible to be a clown again? And going back to the circus, I don't know. I'll be leaving on the morning train. Can we really be a clown again? April 20th. The train passes through a landscape of lonely pine trees. Gone are the days in the asylum. The fear, my mother's grave, and everything else writing... It feels good, and my anguish starts disappearing. I will reunite with my old friends. Blessed be God. I haven't written anything since I came here. I should be ashamed. Should be sad clown. Tick. Tick. Mother's rosary. We should stay close. The 
hell's in my mirror? Found. Your English has disappeared. Where's it going? I think I just thought it was point and click because of. I mean, it is kind of a point and click, but. When it said combat, made me think, okay, maybe it's actually. Survival horror. No water! Empty bathtub. Yes? But that did something. Why did the. Uh, why is that connected to the fountain outside? Who designed this place? Sad clown. Sad clown. Oh god! For Christ's sake. Vlad Circus. Hello? Dr. Jasper. Mr. Mills. You put on your costume. Extraordinary. It took you nearly eight years to overcome your fear. Yes. We'll take a photograph for a po the poster of the new circus. I didn't expect to see you here. I boarded the train as soon as I received your letter. Hmm. It stated that Mr. Petrescu was planning to rebuild the circus and that you will once again play the clown Lazy Ollie. Yes. I am going back to the circus. This is like Seven Rady's origin story. A situation that can be traumatic without professional help. I'll certainly be helping you, Mr. Mills. I am grateful to you, Doctor. You don't need to thank me. You have been an exemplary patient. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go unpack. I'll see you later. Certainly. If you'll excuse me. Dr. Jasper has come to help me. I, the director of Penhurst Asylum in the flesh, I certainly surprised him when he saw me wearing my old costume. When I was in the asylum, I couldn't bear the thought of being Lazy Ollie again. Lazy Ollie. Lamp. I can take this lamp. I couldn't take the other one, but... Eesh. Eesh. Remark? What does that mean? The door to the first floor is... Oh, I take notes about things I do. Clown. <laughs> I have a map? Probably not, then. Duh. Wait, that's the first floor? Oh, it's, do it's the European first floor. This is the American first floor. But where is everybody? Petrescu's old camera. The old man wants to take a picture for the new circus poster. Oh. I don't need to call anyone. Kitty. Oh dear, hours don't count here. The hand, there's a hand missing. Monteba Montalbano. It, that's a monkey. It's not a kitty, it's a monkey. Didn't see him when I arrived. This That thieving monkey is like a son to Petrescu. He must be very old. Thank God he survived the fire. <clears throat> Looks like the old man is feeding Montalbano here. The table has a nice velvet tablecloth. He treats him like a king. We're locked in.
What are you doing, Sarah? Sarah. Over here, don't try to do that jump. You'll never make it. Don't. I do what I want. She doesn't know. She doesn't... She doesn't know how clumsy she is, okay? I mean, maybe she does. She doesn't really try to do much. But she was looking like she might try to do something. Which is not what we want her to do. We don't want her to try to do things. I shouldn't drink alcohol. It gives me headaches since I've been taking sleeping pills. It's a modern gramophone. Dining room? My, my poor mother used to say that spilling wine and spilling blood are this is the same sin. Well, a dining room. Dumb. A dining room. Dining room. This is Jacob and Madison, Petrescu's parents. Jacob was a successful lawyer. Because of that, he was able to build a, this huge mansion. Mrs. Madison was a frustrated artist. Vlad said she was rarely sober, but he spoke of her with pride. A record. Dropped objects, huh? Places. Oh, wait a minute. How do I even know what items I have? Actual inventory. There's dropped items, it said. Doesn't seem like we can run either. Is that Romanian? I don't know. Hello? What the? Ranjit Yada, welcome! Ranjit, it's you! Long time no see! Fate has brought to us old friends to this stormy night. Fire consumes and also creates, my good sir. What do you mean? Oliver too has managed to overcome his fear. He has become Lazy Ollie again. Yes, the clown again. I am cured. Ranjit, Dr. Jasper has been very kind to me. Ranjit feels grateful. The mutilated arm. You have come to the Petrescos. I I'm glad you came, old man. Strange messages about the reunion have been seen in the sky, my good sir. One must be in this time and place to fulfill destiny. What did you do after the fire? Ranjit has gone back to traveling. He has seen other people and other places. You wear that everywhere? I don't know how well people would receive that. He thinks that maybe the end of the circus was a well-deserved punishment for his excessive behavior in his previous lives. As my psychiatrist always said, you shouldn't blame yourself. Men carry unspeakable guilt from one life to the next, my good sir. Related arm. What happened to your arm? Granted has begun to fulfill the plan of the stars, my good sir. Jesus. Cut off it off yourself. Oh no, Ranjit, you should have shouldn't have. You'll condemn yourself to hell. Everyone hides hell in the depths of their minds. Ranjit has chosen his. Hey. Andrew doesn't seem to have aged one single day. It pains me to see him mutilated like that. This cannot be the old man's fate. No matter how much he has sinned, I wish I could make him stop. Back in the asylum, I used to see him in my dreams. The fire was consuming everything. People died all around, and the fakir was burning while uttering horrible screams. 
they were only nightmares. Giddy. Giddy. Thousand. Do, 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 do. Hello? Oh, this is beautiful. No water. Dirty water, it reeks. Why is it all green? Uh, whoa! No, they got a cat. Is that a cat? No. Mr. Mills, are you okay? Back there, Doctor. Huge rats are eating the guts of a cat. Hmm, that's strange. Are you sure? I swear to God on my holy mother. Now there's gonna be nothing there. Show me what you saw, Mr. Mills. Hmm? Huh? How? Well, I swear the cat was here. This guy's all the place and the rats. The reunion with the Seer Circus friends can be difficult. We talked about this at Penhurst. But but calm down, Mr. Mills. You've imagined it, that's all. Try to... Yeah, but then why is there blood on the floor if we had imagined it? Look on the floor. Try to control your nerves. Remember, stress hurts you. Pray if you think you need to. You brought your mother's rosary, didn't you? Yes, doctor. I'd never go anywhere without it. I'll be around if you'll excuse me. Good heavens. I'm not feeling very well. I thought putting my costume would be on my costume would be harmless, but the rats were eating that cat. Dr. Jasper thinks it was my imagination. I don't think so. I'd better not mention it in front of the others. Fortunately, I have brought my mother's holy rosary. I will say my prayers. I beg you, Christ Lord, do not abandon me. It's gonna be abandoned. Stress! Run! Hello? It's a pile of unwashed dishes. Pretty water. Note says, On Tuesday, the 23rd, the plumber will come back to check the pipes. Tuesday? On Tuesday? Burner for the wood. Here's the fuse box. One of the fuses busted. Damn storm. At Vlad Circus, I was in charge of the the lights. Those were the good times. I remember how proud I felt. <coughs> about the large Marquis Petrescu asked me to build and the place on top of the main tent. It had a, over 160 light bulbs. They were such a headache, especially after it rained and I had to change the burned out ones. At night, the words of Vlad Circus could be seen from a considerable distance. First floor is locked. Lock is missing a hand. Do we need a fuse? Blown fuse. Take blown fuse. Uh huh. Copper filament is cut. Jug. Take jug. Is there any reason? Do I have unlimited inventory? I'm not even sure. I know how to even see what's in my inventory, so. Oh, now I do. And it looks limited, probably. Move. Pray. Here. It's the door to the backyard. Petrescu wanted to show me his plants, but he couldn't remember where he left the key. Oh. Pretty cool so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no power. No power. Hey, do you have a fuse? Ranjit. 
Everything happens the way it's supposed to. Ranjit is meditating. Ooh. Why is the lantern or not lamp chandelier? A dining, room. dining dining Crystal tea. Grammy phone. Alcohol bear. Clown. Camera. Busy. Female voice, busy. Hello? No! Puppeteers! Jake Dilmer. Oliver, you scared the hell out of us. Your queen. Jake, I haven't seen you in years. No way. You look this just the same. Lazy Ollie. As if no time has passed, huh? Yes, it has. And I just turned 40. About the, when did you arrive here? This afternoon on the train, all along with the rest of the troop. A bunch of losers. And what about you, my friend? When did you come? I took the morning train. I didn't want to risk it. I have a sleeping disorder. A sleeping disorder, damn. And why is that? Well, my life hasn't been so easy after the fire. You know, Penhurst, psychiatrist, pills, crisis. I've had several relapses over the years, and fi when I finally got out last year, the ec this economic slump started. You should be called Lame Ollie. Have you seen Petrescu? Center keys? No, he hasn't shown up yet. We were talking about the good old times this morning. He tur just turned 72, but he's got his usual energy. Of your energy? No, you don't. You're just gonna sleep. He said he was planning to make his classic juicy stew for dinner. He's looking forward to welcoming us. Jeez. That's nice. It's going to be just like old days. Rest of the troop. Where is everyone? We were waiting for Petrescu when suddenly the power went out. There was a flash of lightning and boom. Now they are must be milling around, eager to get the picture the old man wants. It will be a picture of dinosaurs. I just saw Ranjit, the crazy old man mutilated his forearm. He keeps blaming himself for what he did early in his life, who knows. One day he will lose it completely. He will cut his head off. Shut your mouth, Venancio. Anyway. It's great that Petrescu wants to rebuild the circus, Ollie. We shall rise from the ashes. Isn't it pathetic? I mean, thrilling? This is our chance to fail again, gentlemen. That's enough, Venancio. We are going back in the suitcase. Alessia. Jake, tell me, Alessia is here too, isn't she? Well, yes, she is. She came with all of us. She's changed. Somewhat different. I need to see your reaction when you see her. What do you mean? You'll find out, Lazy Ollie. Hey, Oliver, we need to keep practicing. We want to surprise that old cocky Petrescu with a new act. Sure, Jake. I'll see you later. I ran it, just ran into Jake and his annoying puppet. He told me everyone was already here, even Alessa, my beloved Alessia. Sometimes fate, by will of Christ, gives us another chance. It will be nice to be back at the circus to be a family again. Ignacio, you look the same as some years ago. Have you ever seen a puppet get old, my friend? I know a good embalmer for when you die. He'll be just like me. We'll be friends forever. Let me turn up the volume a bit. 
Sorry, it doesn't sound loud enough without the horn. Get one. Have you noticed the power's out, you clown? One of the typical Vlad circus stands. I can't believe it's been eight years. Here, Petrescu would announce the axe, and Dom would play it with his tame hyenas. Clown. Portrait of Petrescu with his beloved circus. He must have had it painted in 1914 or 19. Bruto. Poor Amelie died of suffocation in his cage during the fire. Petrescu told me he embalmed him to keep his memory alive. Bruto. Back there was some firewood that must have been left from the winter. Gate has a lock. Uh, I'm a clown. Easy. Who? Oh. Dominique? Oliver, mon ami, long time no see. I too have donned my old costume. But Dom, what, what are you doing in a wheelchair? Oh. This chair, I, I share a long history of it. Was this the former strongman? After Monsieur Petrescu's brother was executed, I had polio. I wasn't well since the accident at the asylum, remember? I've healed from the disease, but my body can't take it anymore. Now my muscles are weak. There is nothing left of the old iron ogre, only at this costume. Anyway, Monsieur Petrescu insisted that I come. It will be great gesture on his... It was a great gesture on his part. Oh, oi. I don't know. Dom, I'm so sorry. Hey, life goes on. You'll do other things. Look at me. If I can try, so can you. He's become disabled. My strongman friend, the famous Iron Ogre, is now a wheelchair-bound wreck. I remember how he used to lift his elephant, Marita. An elephant? It was a display of strength that would leave you grinding your teeth and gasping for air. The audience loved him. I can't see how Dom could have returned to Vlad Circus. I will do everything I can to help him. The heck? Harry Brock. Can someone help me carry Alicia? Hey, it's been so long. Oliver, you're here. Yes, I arrived in the train from... Alicia needs to help. Come here, Oliver. Okay. Good heavens. On you, what happened? I'd love to help, but I can hardly I can hardly help myself. Alicia, I've thought about her all these years. Eichmann. Over here, Oliver, hurry. What Alicia, Oliver Oh god. For Christ's sake, you're bleeding out. Help us, Oliver. The baby. I, I don't remember the baby. She shouldn't have traveled in her condition, but arguing with her was useless. Hurry, we've already discussed this at home. You need to take some rest, have you? And have your medication urgently. My friend, can you carry her to the house? Yes. Sure, Harry. <laughs> this is going to be a weird one. At least he's expecting baby. Could Harry be the father? I see that my friend cares deeply for her. I could, would have liked to be in his place, to be the one caring for Alicia, but I must not. My mother used to say there's a reason behind God's ways. Harry is a kind-hearted man. <laughs> Bleeding stopped. Alicia is sleeping now. Another storm is coming. Mesa mis. Where's Monsieur Petrescu? We've been here for hours, damn it. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Ginger. Do you always go to the bathroom together? 
No to time for jokes. You are queen. Hey, all of a long time, huh? When did you get out here, boy? Betsy, hi. Uh, oh, I skipped something, I guess. Hey, Mademoiselle Alicia has lost a lot of blood. It would be wise to do something. Granjit, can you prepare some of your medicines for Alicia? Granjit can make an infusion for the bearded woman's pain. <laughs> Hopefully, it will help Alicia and the baby. That's all that matters to me. I'll go check on her. Excuse me, Alicia shouldn't have come pregnant, you idiot. Silence, Ginger, but it's true, brothers. That girl needs a doctor. And to make matters worse, there's a train strike until Monday. Father Vlad, would you... would know what to do? Has anyone seen him? We were chatting this morning, then I went for a nap and haven't seen him since. He said we'd have one of his stews for dinner, just like old times. No way, and we're still in the dark. All the better not to see your faces, you jerks. <laughs> Betsy and Ginger have come to. I don't like those obnoxious girls. They've always they're always arguing. Their heads only agree in the presence of Petrescu. That old man has spoiled them. I don't know what he was thinking when he brought them to the circus. I think Yosef feared for that his brother would end up handing <laughs> over the circus to them. Oliver, you were good with electrical stuff. Can you fix the light? Sure, I'll try. Okay. Poor Mr. Mills. I'm afraid his disorientation episodes are back. The reunion with his old friends is making him unstable. Huh? Oh. But how did I get back here? Huh? Hello? It's rainy again. The storm is endless. Well, we still have the items. The power is still up. It was a time loop, the power were to come back on. Can't be this exhausted. The asylum treatments have ruined my body. Damn it. Hello? Speak up, damn freaks. Who's that? Is this a bad joke? Huh? How's that going? That's strange. Who could have called and why did he say that? Blood. Choppers. Whoa! 
jug shattered. They say a high-pitched voice can break glass, but I never thought it could shatter a jug. Cheska will be mad. Still jug shattered. Oliver, what are you doing here? Alyssa's sleeping. I'm sorry, Harry. It's been years since we last met. Alicia's still in a lot of pain. I'm so sorry. Ranger's medicinal tea will soothe her. Tell him to hurry. I can't watch her suffer. We'll talk later. You better go out. I'll look after Alicia. Leave us alone now. Sure, Harry, as you say. How can a man ha be happy no matter what? I like Harry. I respect him. Like the brother I never had. He finds the strength to keep on living no matter how hard the circumstances. I don't think I would be able to do that. I Just putting on my old clown costume makes my head spin. He barely talks to me and it hurts, I, but I forgive him. Alicia is his woman and to me she will be just a sweet memory that I will take to the grave. I'm sure that voice does something about dirty water. Something we have to break with that record. Backyard, eh? We definitely need to get the power on. We're having... Losing our memory and stuff and waking up. Probably like... I don't know. We're probably the baddie. We're murdering people and me. Every time we lose our memory or something, you know? Hello? Hello? North Forest. Petrescu's old wagon. Only the f only a few wagons survived the fire. Mr. Petrescu, what are you doing out in the rain, in the dark? Are you alright? We were worried about you. We've seen Joseph. Joseph, what Joseph? Joseph Petrescu, my brother, who else would it be? But Joseph, he's dead. Hold on, the storm is too strong. We have to get back to the house. Uh oh. What the hell is that? Whoa! God, what's going on here? It can't be. Captain Body was here. It was a hallucination. Not going back to Pender's Asylum. No. Dr. Jasper. I must see him as soon as possible. <laughs> Hallucinating. I'm hearing strange voices and I saw a huge beheaded body. It was only for a few seconds, but holy Christ, his flesh was raw, the smell was burnt flesh, it was nauseating. Why would I imagine such an atrocity? My hallucinations from Pender's Asylum were different. I must speak to Do Dr. Jasper and tell him everything. Hmm. Boards is loose. Can't carry more items.
hours. Carry, I, okay, we need to go find a place to put stuff, I guess. Yeah, we're hearing voices. More flowers, I think. Hmm, newspaper clipping. Just have dropped it. <clears throat> Morning after the fire, the police department found Joseph near the circus drunk and carrying a revolver. He was taken to Scranville Prison, and the following year he was found guilty of arson. He was sentenced to the electric chair. Just a clown. doesn't do joke, he just sad. Flowers. Well, Hope I don't have to write a report station. on this. Train station. What are these keys for? I guess they'll do something. Cloth bag. Hmm. It will help me carry more stuff. Oh, plus one. <laughs> oh my. What's that? Saw a glint. I'm tired. Apparently this game has combat at some point. I don't stones. Too slippery to jump, eh? Place the board. Whoa! It'll be useful for crossing. Flowers. Whoa! Whoa! But, what's over here? Flowers, but... There's nothing over here. Besides these flowers. Uh, maybe it maybe. Maybe. Flowers.
Not the right lock. Inventory. Last one. It's not in the best shape, but you know. Mr. Mills, how are you feeling? Doctor, thank God you're here. I'm suffering from hallucinations again. Why do you say that? Have you seen anything else? A dead man. Help me, please. My sir. Granted, old friend. Will you make the infusion for Alicia? Granted, will look for marigolds for the bearded lady's tea. Such is the fate. I have seen flowers of the forest, of all kinds in the forest. You might find marigolds. Back here is a mysterious old man, but a man of God. His medicines have been a blessing to Vlad Circus. Sorry for the interruption, Doctor. Don't worry. Describe the vision, please. A huge corpse covered with flies. It smelled burnt, and it was beheaded, Doctor. Very disturbing. The return of the circus opens old wounds. There's no doubt about it now. We're going to need some medicine. You want to inject me with malaria blood like in the asylum? Calm down, Mr. Mills. We don't need to give you a fever. You and I are past that stage. My antipsychotic tonic would help with the hallucinations. There are some bottles in my briefcase. Try not to be nervous. Stress is bad for you. All this bring back bad, brings back bad memories, Doctor. Try not to lose your temper, Mr. Mills. Always keep in mind that these hallucinations are harmless. If you fail to control your symptoms, drink some tonic. Don't forget that it was good for you in the asylum. So, thank you, Doctor. weren't for you, I wouldn't even have been able to afford my rent when I left Penhurst. It is impossible to make up for all the things you do for me. There is nothing to thank me for, Mr. Mills. This is part of is my job. I'll keep an eye on you. If you'll excuse me. Christ, the tonic again. If I trust him. Dr. Jasper perfected the recipe of his antipsychotic tonic while I was hospitalized. The rest of his treatments had no effect on me. Not even the ice nor the malaria-induced fever. I will be forever grateful to him. It's just that I'm terrified of drinking that tonic yet again. I am suspicious of it. Even when the hallucinations go away, I always lose my nerve. TDX. I didn't actually drink it, I just have. Okay, um. Water. Why does. Oliver, I saw you leaving through the gate out in the storm. Have you gone to look for Monsieur Petrescu? I saw him in the woods. I guess he wasn't feeling well. What do you mean, Ollie? Well, I don't know. He was in the dark looking for his brother Joseph. Jeez. But Joseph is fried like a chicken. Joseph, the drunk degenerate, must, degenerate, must be in hell sitting in the electric chair. 
I don't know. I guess we probably do have to. some stuff in the middle room. Jake left his case here. Sorry, zero. Christ's sake. I see Jake hasn't lost his touch. I see if we, I feel safer if I keep this gun with me until we get out of here. We've had our misfortunes in the past. Gun. I've noticed you still smoke. Why one of me cigarettes have been with me every day since the accident at Penhurst Asylum. It's a bad habit. You should quit smoking. I used to roll cigarettes when I was a child. I know the damage they do. I know it well, Ollie. I can't help it. My lungs must be as black as coal. Julio. It has surprised me to see you so thin. That illness you have. Ah, mon cher, I caught it at the hospital. I was able to walk for a while. I had my muscles strong, and I even worked. I could lift an elephant like I used to. But within a few years, I couldn't do it anymore. I will be in this wheelchair forever. Cheer up, it's going to be alright, Dom. Dominique is the son of French immigrants, but he grew up in the coal mines of Santa Elena County. County. He later worked in a street show until Vlad Petrescu found him and took him to the circus. He learned how to take care of the animals and how to handle the spotlights there. Dom can't read or write, but he's a very kind-hearted guy. But I feel partly to blame for what happened at the asylum when we tried to get Alicia out. It wasn't your fault. We both let ourselves be talked into it by the great little Harry. Doesn't matter anymore, Ollie. Time heals all wounds. Don't hold any grudges. Never asked you this, but are you a man of faith? I don't know how to pray, Ollie. My buddies used to do it in the coal mines when I was a kid, but I haven't learned. Maybe someday you can teach me. Of course, it'll be the first thing we'll do when we get back to the circus, I promise. I'm counting on your seat on the Praying? What's that gonna do? Bruto did not survive the fire. By the time I could go after him, after getting Ranjit out of the tent, it was too late. Never knew how all of you were able to escape. I hardly remembered just a few details. I was so scared. I know I managed to get Alicia out of the main tent. I've seen you helping a lot of people, Ali. You were going in and out of the tent through the fire and smoke. You're, you've been a very, you've been very brave, risking your life. You too, Dom. Yeah, calm people down or something. Placebo? JL's record. Thank you. 
What the? Get out of here, you damn stinky rats. Holy mother. Father Vlad, this house is infected infested with rats. The rats. The rats gave me the creeps. Don't be a chicken, Oliver. Father used to lock me in a cellar full of rats when he had to punish me. Uh. Oh, God. Cheer up, boy. Think of the future. We're coming back to the circus. It's true. Where have you been? What about you? Where have you been all these years? You shouldn't care. Did we ever ask you about that? Ginger, don't be rude, girl. We've been working at Marjorie Smith's Dime Museum. You know, normal people pay to feel grossed out. Ginger, please. In the new Vlad Circus, no one will be disgusted or afraid of us. It'll be just like before, Vlad promised. Don't make me laugh, Holly. Go mind your own business and keep spying on your dear Alicia. Whoa, Etta. Crazy. Rats. She's shut your mouth. I ran into Petrescu in the woods. He's looking for his brother. Can you believe that? You talk as if Vlad, Father Vlad had gone mad, boy. Don't be ridiculous, Oliver. He was just, must be joking. Let's hope he gets back in time for dinner. We haven't turned the power on. Watch out for the rats. They look hungry. And be good, or we'll lock you in the cellar. Haha. -ha. Twins have always intrigued me, but I've never dared ask them about their condition. So I looked it up in the asylum library. I found a few cases like theirs. I so something twins joined at the torso, but with only one pelvis. Two people in one condemned to live together in a single body. I know that if one of the heads were to die, the other could not live for more than a few hours. It's sad and very unfair that a creature of God should endure so much. Not yet, Harry. It's just that. Please tell Ranger to hurry. The baby is moving a lot. Leave us alone. Sure, Harry, as you say. My bad. A lot of rats in here. Don't examine the tub. Yeah. yeah, we need the flowers. Probably... Probably bring... Jar, maybe? Jug, I mean. We haven't found a place where water actually functions, but... I mean, there's the fountain, but... On Tuesday, it's... Oh, yeah. Plumber's gonna check the pipes. Need more than a plumber. <sighs> so I'm going to take this because if I drop things, it'll say in my book where they're dropped, but if I leave it there, it won't. Jug? Maybe we can combine it with the flowers, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I have these keys too. I should probably 
you been here the whole time? Statue? Well, let's try to see if we can do something with the flowers. There's also a river out there, isn't there? Hello? Bad circus. There he is. Granted, have you managed to find the flowers for the infusion? No, my good sir. The forest is dark, even for Ranjit's instinct. I'm bringing the lamp with me. I can light the way. That'll be very helpful, good sir. We have to stop. We must stop another hemorrhage from the bearded woman. She could lose the baby. Will you ever know what you have done to feel so guilty, old man? My good sir, Ranjit endures pain and torture, but my punished body hardly reflects that which Ranjit has infected on other people. It will never be enough. The pain. Every time you were subjected to all that torment in the circus. How did you bear all the pain? The torture of the body is art, my good sir. Art improves with time. But why are you doing this? People glimpse the spiritual meaning of pain through the torments of the body. You mean that pain is an instrument of God? Like the crucifixion? The two-headed girl claimed that people take pleasure in witnessing the suffering of others. That the pain of the others relieves one's own pain. It's not that simple. The universe is duality. The pain of others helps the spirit to learn about suffering in one's own flesh. Pain teaches. The agony of Ranjit's body is a gift. Ranjit's words are selfish. We haven't come to the world to suffer, but if to fulfill God's will, which is one love and compassion, the old man is unable to forgive himself. Now I understand why he went through that torture. He laid on nails, cut off pieces of his skin and flesh, and endured all kinds of physical torments. At times he would lose so much blood that he nearly died. The audience cheered and applauded him. I feel sad and horrified when I remember that. Mutilations. But why have you mutilated yourself like that? Ranjit's hands cannot be washed, my good sir. Ranjit must cleanse the guilt of his pa of past lives until there are no traces left. Jesus. Will you keep doing it? Undoing it? It shall be as the stars declare, Lazy Ollie. What? Ran no, Ranjit. When will you do it? The stars have not spoken again. Ranjit does not know why, but they haven't spoken again. Follow me, old friends. I will show you the way. Ranjit will be walking behind Oliver like a spirit. Why don't you take a look at these flowers? It's obviously going to be the one behind the where the I made that bridge. Hmm. They are not marigolds, my good sir. So pretty. Kitty. It's not time for more food. You've had so much food. Ranjit, do you think these flowers will work? Ranjit? Ranjit. Nature is wise, so they say. Here we have marigolds. You could prepare the healing tea for Alicia now. Ranjit also needs some water. 
Here is the stream. It must be pure rainwater, my good sir. Ah, good. I'll take care of it. Granted is going to the kitchen to get some work done. The bearded woman doesn't have much time. So if it wasn't raining, she'd just be screwed? You can only... What? What's growing inside her will come out soon. Good heavens. Ale shouldn't have come in that condition. Where do I get rainwater? It actually isn't raining. Sad clown adventures. Oh, now it's raining. Kitty, no, don't go that way. Excavation of Hobbs Barrow was all right. Pretty slow, but. I like that it was voiced, though, because this is not voiced. My voice is going to die. How do I combine with rain? Big Cat just wants food. Big Cat. Like, what are you doing to me? Why aren't you feeding me? How to fill jug. How do I fill jug? Is there some other way I'm supposed to gain rain? I mean, I guess just putting jug out in the rain would take a bit for it to fill, but it would at least do something. Mr. Rat. Rat. The key is from here. I wonder what other one opens. There's one. Whoa! Hello? Oh, it's another decapitated. Not again. The body is not there. I know, Dr. Jasper is right. I must face my fears. My fears! Stripped wire. Take. Help! Help! My fear! Pray. Feel as if my late mother Isabella is holding my hand. May God rest her soul. I know what to do, at least for something. Not for every. Hello? Oh, tired. It's our house. Well, it's not our house, but. Let's 
try this door. This might actually be a survival horror game once it gets going, because we've already found a gun. Looks like very limited ammo. I initially thought it was a point and click, just from... I don't know, part of it was just the graphics, though. Just, you know, it looks like a point. It's more like RE0, apparently. Clock tower. Prepared the fuels. Stop talking. Oh. Sad clown coming through. Run it. Yay. The lights are back on. The power is back, Lazy Ollie. Ranjit is thankful. Brought the rainwater, not yet. Taking care of it, Ranjit. How am I going to get the rainwater? I should get the jug. Probably going to need the jug. At least the lantern's unlimited, though. I don't need the jazz record. No. That's weird. Why isn't the elevator moving? Huh? Down? Where's this? The attic? Was I up? Oh, there was a dead body in the way, but maybe now that there's light, I, I, it'll be gone. Yeah, I was at first expecting just, you know, point and click, chill game, and now I'm like, I might get more than I expected. We also have a sad clown. Or we are a sad clown. Have you ever wanted to be a sad clown? It's still here. It's still here. Going back to that damn asylum. Drink away my problems. Same taste of blood I used to hate when I was in the asylum. At least it works. The demon's gone. Dr. Jasper's tonic takes the hallucinations out of my head, but I'm scared. It's like all the years I spent in rehab in Penhurst Asylum have been for nothing. The treatments, the agony, I'm scared. Mother, those headless bodies remind me of so many sad things. Dust, silence, the flesh being consumed around the bones, the end of life. This is way worse than the visions I endured after the fire. What should I do, my lord? Is this one of your tests?
There's more. Megaphone. Cheska's megaphone somewhat scorched. The show wouldn't start until the old man made his famous presentation. Oh god. Help! It's awake! Help! Push the lad circus sound. Oh god. Ah! No! Jeebus. Bottles full of solvent. Uh, no, no. One thousand and one nights. I've always wanted to read it, but old Barnaby wouldn't let me when I was little. Penhurst, at Penhurst Asylum. I spent a lot of free time in the a library. I love books, and I haven't read anything since I was a scrawny kid working in Barnaby Wilson's cigarette factory. If there's one thing I owe to that old cranky old man, old cranky old, <laughs> it's this, it's that he taught me how to read and write. I still have dreams about burn, uh, the burning cigarette wounds in my arms. It's funny because Dr. Jasper also used to burn me at first until I was able to get his tonic to work. The pain brought me back to reality. Everybody's burning me. Help. Here's the problem. Engine belt's been cut off. I should change it to get this to work. Do I need an engine belt? Yo. I need bullet. We have a megaphone. A solvent. And a solvent. How do I get rain? Why couldn't I just get rain? Why is rainwater hard to get? What's going on here? Um. Uh. Oh. We're just a 40-year-old sad clown. A dining room. Wrong door. Megaphone. Do I need the megaphone? What do I need any of this stuff for? Wow, you clown, you managed to fix the lights. A fuse had blown, but I managed to fix it. Well done, buddy. You haven't lost your touch, huh? <clears throat> Crystal jug. <clears throat> A lot of out. It bit me. What? Why? Why did the rat bite me? Any news? Well, what do you think? No sign of Father Vlad. Marjorie Smith's Dime Museum. How do you end up at the, in the Dime Museum? We spent over a year in a homeless shelter, but they wanted to dump us. Out on the street, you know, the monster. We were lucky that the newspaper published an article about the anniversary of the fire. It mentioned that we were in the shelter. Marjorie Smith came for us in person. We couldn't say no. The witch is famous for seeking out special attractions and talents. No other circus ever asked for us, those jerks. We had to settle for a worthless dime museum. And what about Vlad Petrescu, your impossible love sister? disappeared. He came to lock himself in here, claiming he was broke. Bah. Can't blame him, Betsy. 
when that bastard Joseph was executed, we never heard from Father Vlad or the rest of the troop again. And me the rat. And I never did find out what happens if I go get that, that thing. But it was probably just like a buff or something. But I'm pretty sure we got the true ending of that game. Marjorie Smith's Dime Museum was one of those places that provided scares with only one coin. It was located in the suburbs of Milton City, east of Mawe. It was dark, red brick building. It was famous for exhibiting authentic nightmares in the form of preserved heads, demonic mummies from all over the world, and even dog-sized insects brought from the jungles of Brazil. Will you do the two-headed singing snake act again when I reopen Vlad Circus? We will never do it the way we used to, and not because we're old. <clears throat> Why can't you? It was your best act. No, there was no other act like yours in the whole world. Well, you stopped contorting for the last eight years. Anyway, I didn't like doing it. I've been meaning to get back into practice, but recently we can barely twist. It hurts way too much. And we didn't actually have to do it. In the museum, we just had to stand there like mannequins and a good crowd gathered. And then we would scream, a loud scream. It would... If you could have seen it, boy, these stupid people would get out and run all over the place. The right, which Marjorie had put us in a special room. We didn't have to sing like in the circus either. It was rather boring, but provided us with food. Marjorie didn't pay us crap. Unfortunately, we only have one stomach. The Carver Siamese twins had several tunes, but the best was their contortion act. Betsy and Ginger twisted their body in a way made the public get gasp and shock. Once, and once curled up, they started singing. Their voices, soprano and alto, produced a chorus of chilling sounds under the spotlight with their red sequin dress. They looked like a huge reptile with scales of fire, a real nightmare. Hey, Ginger, was it true that you were Petrescu's favorite? Uh, wh way more than that, huh, sis? Shut up, Betsy. Shut your mouth. And you, Oliver, you gossiping clown. You think I didn't notice, girl. I was pretending to be asleep when your daddy Vlad was sweet-talking you, huh? Slip sink ships, honey. Remember that. See how they'd hide anything from each other. <laughs> the fire. When I was asking for help to rescue Alicia from the fire, you ran away. I have forgotten many things, but not that. Is this a, a comp complaint from the little man? That dear Alicia was your problem, not ours. Oliver, I wanted to help, but when we're scared, Ginger does what she wants. I apologize. Oh, come on, sister. If it weren't for me, we would be dead already. Stop playing the romantic child. Yeah, two-headed person. We got sad clown, two-headed person. The strong man's not strong anymore because he got polio and he's a wheelchair. Webcam's blocking. I find there. This is the strong man. Is there another door I could try to open? I believe the rat bit. I don't know if I want to take tonics. Like, I don't 
made that one thing go away, but like... Is the one that's walking around already, would it make that one go away too? But... The one had to go away, it was in my way, like... I mean, maybe if I waited, eventually it stands up and I could have got around it that way. I'm not sure. Oh, what the? Dude. Cheese? Wait, how long has this cheese been in here? Oh no, what have I done? Ah, oh, that cheese is stale. No, it says. Montalbano, 8 o'clock. Banana. Banana. Pork. It's too big to take with me. Too much meat. Banana. Sad clown. Solvent. Would a solvent be to like move something from something? Like, I don't know, not rust, but like. How do I get the rainwater there? Thought for sure. You should have sh It needs rainwater. Restore power. Door to the first floor is locked. Clock is missing a hand. Medicinal tea. can't, like, seem to do anything for the joke. Like, you need something to interact with, like... Statue is not an interactable. Yeah, this, look, this game looks good. Good pixels. He doesn't want to go this way. So how do I... So I just can't just put the jug on the ground. I mean, it's raining hard enough that you probably get some water that way. 
Probably have to look for something where it's kind of like collecting, flowing, or something. Huh? I thought it might be upstairs, but... Like, I can't interact here. A weird little statue. Tank has no water. It's raining again. Oh, okay. I mean, I can turn the lights back out again. Why do the rats keep biting me? Help me, Jeebus. I am sad clown. Weapons are is rid of Satan, but I don't feel safe here. Better be prepared. Shatayan, help me. Yep, my prayers didn't work, but Satan helped me, so I know whose side I'm on now. This is Lantern. It's like Kuan. Fight enemy, then you pray to get your health back. It actually is like Kuan in a weird way. A grindstone. Sharpening steel tools. How am I gonna put the point? I don't know. I need to books. Circus stands. Okay, well, we managed to kill something. We have three bullets. Cat, I hear you down there. What are you doing? Walk 
away then. Stop biting me, you stupid rats. Rats bite stress me out. Oh, yeah, we're scared of rats. And they're biting me, which, you know, that could... Who knows what problems that could cause. Get a few diseases, I guess. Megaphone. Opera record. Rabies. Dude, rabies still can't be cured, isn't it? That's... Once it gets to whatever point it needs to get to. There's a crystal jug up there. I can put the megaphone up to it instead of the... Tired. Yay! Gramophone fits right into the horn. That crystal up there should break. I don't know what's in it, but it should break. Ugh. It wasn't what my eardrums would have ruptured, you jerk. Sorry about that, Jake. Oh, it says back garden. I didn't realize that the key actually says Sampton. Ow! Why? The rats keep biting me. Back garden's probably over here. Past the kitchen. Oh, get away from me, rats. Hmm, the lamp barely lit. I need kerosene. Oh. I don't know where that is. So needy, you clown. Sad clown. Huh? Okay. It's blunt. And it looks like it used to cut me. But that's for sharpening thing. Hiya. Yeah. Did I get stressed by a burb? I think I did. Oh, no! Ugh! Oh, yeah! Oh, my stress! No! Yeah! Oh, man. Okay. Jeebus. I don't get it. Ooh, running water. Oh, 
fresh rain water, I guess. Through running through whatever stuff is stuck in that pipe. I have the rainwater. I must give it to Ranjit as soon as possible. Damn, the pipe is broken. Wait. The sparrow collects rainwater. Damn, the pipe is broken. Wait. Montalbano! Wow, that branch just broke the glass. I think Montalbano fit through this hole. He had... Turn the nursery into his shelter. I bet he keeps everything he steals in there. Montalbano. The monkey. Chain with the padlock. It looks like we have melee, but it looks like they're weapons that break. It's not a great time. Ah, but the rats are biting me. I've got the rainwater. You have a great spirit, Lazy Ollie. Ranjit will prepare the marigold tea. I have a banana, but like you feed it, if you were supposed to feed it at 8 o'clock, but we need the other hand so the clock will tell the monkey it's 8. Fusion is made, my good sir. It will soothe the pain and the bleeding for a while. I'll give it to Elisa right away. Thank you. That which grows in the belly of the bearded woman is cursed. Huh? What are you saying, old man? Ranjit made the tea to soothe Alicia's pain. If it's as good as the one he applied to my own body, racked with nails and or to his own body racked with nails and knives, Alicia will certainly feel better soon. The fakir tends to speak in riddles most of the time. I will ignore whatever he says. <laughs> I'll just ignore everything. No baby is to be born cursed by the will of Christ. Cursed by Jeebus. Ow! Another rat bite. They're so mean. It keeps happening. Oh, I need to get the tea. It's on the table. Die! Hiya! Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> We can now solve the rat problem. Oliver. Have you got the tea? Here it is. Oh, good. Harry. Tell me, my dear. Would you give me a moment to talk to Oliver alone? But please, just trust me. Only took take a few minutes. Okay. I'll be upstairs rehearsing my magic shows. Flower for my queen. Always such a gentleman, my dear. I appreciate it. He wants to talk to you. Be brief. Alicia and her baby need their rest. Sure, Harry. Don't worry. Long time no see, Oliver. How have you been all these years? Lost track of all of you. The asylum closed many doors, you know. The same as the rest. I had to start my life over. Everything was really hard without the circus. Penrith to I remember when you talked about life at Penrith Asylum. Now I know, too. I feel... I felt sorry that you had been committed to the asylum. I meant to visit you many times, but I didn't dare to return to Scranville. I understand. You will, you know I missed you every single day, the baby, and what about the baby? It's not Harry's child, is it? No, it's not Harry's. He's with me now, just keeping me company. He decided to take care of the baby. But, oh, but who's the father? Has he left you? I'd rather not talk about it now. It's just that, listen, Oliver, I need a favor. One favor, tell me. What do you want me to do? I need my purse. My medicine is in there. I left it at the train station. Medicine for the baby? Exactly. I need it 
you know? I can't ask this of Harry. Will you help me? Yes, of course. I'll take care of it. Don't tell Harry, please. Let it be our secret. Don't worry. No one will know. Here's the tea Ranjit made. Drink it, you'll feel better. Okay, thanks, Ollie. I missed Ranjit's infusions. You need to rest. Oliver, missed you too all these years. I thought of you every day. There's a reason behind God's ways. I just want you to be happy. I'm happy for you and Harry. Thank you. I'll wait for you to come back with my medicine. Drink the tea. Take some rest. I'll see you soon. Pray to our Lord that the Fakir's tea may ease her pain. I want to be by her side while she recovers, but Harry seems uneasy when I'm near. I think he's jealous because he thinks I'm hiding something from him. I'm just trying to help. I hope my ale can travel back on the first Monday train. Otwe is not the best place to give birth. My cats go. Gone. <laughs> Train station. Filthy rat. Well, go. Now. Evo. Hello? Hey, if you'll excuse me. Oliver, how's Alicia feeling? Has she had the tea yet? She was drinking it, thank goodness. I hope she gets better. That woman and her baby are my life, you know. What a surprise to see you together again. You will soon be a family. Do you know whether it's a girl or a boy? Listen, Oliver. I know I've screwed up a lot of times. Well, screwed up is a figure of speech. Huh? Harry, stop torturing yourself. When we took Alicia out of Penhurst Asylum, we all thought it was the right thing to do. And in the end it was. Things didn't go as planned, but it's water under the bridge. Yes, I know. And you're right, Oliver. That's why I'm going to be the best father I can be. I promised Alicia that I will live for that woman and her baby. We will we'll go back to the circus as a family. And I'm not forgetting about Dominique. I can imagine better than anyone how he feels in that wheelchair. I want to help Dom. Once we're back at the circus, we'll find something. We'll find him something to do. He could even take on his old role as a tamer. He won't be able to wrestle a bear anymore, but he can fight other things. Being in that chair is a partial handicap. We'll help him. I owe him... I owe it to him, especially me. Well, you can't... Why would he leave? And her is 15 minutes from you? Uh-oh. We wouldn't be there if it weren't for the asylum accident. Years without the circus. So tell me, what have you been up to after the fire? I went back to the streets, but not as the fabulous jacket. I couldn't bear that name without Vlad Circus. 
I took my old bag of trips, tricks and reintroduced myself as Brock the Magician. Went back to your old ways, I get it. I got offers from other circuses, but I was very upset. I didn't feel up to it. So I spent years letting people study me like a freak. I was just playing my card games. Alicia, how did you find Alicia again? Hmm, sorry, Oliver. I'm gonna skip that conversation for now. I think you know what I mean, my friend. See you soon. I'll go check if Alicia needs anything. Oh. After Harry became the fabulous jacket, things changed at Vlad Circus. The crowd would gather before the beautiful red and white tents, and Harry was the star. People were coming from all over the world to see him. As a magician, he had been brilliant, and as a circus freak, he became even more so. Harry would always be the center of attention and of everything that happened in our circus family. He dragged Dom and me along in his desperation to be with Alicia. Harry's magician case. Here he keeps his illusionist elements. Hmm. Keeps several things. Playing cards, handkerchiefs, several lockpicks. With these lockpicks, Harry would be would open the locks in seconds during his escapology performance. That was awesome. I'll borrow one. I'll tell him later. Mine now. <clears throat> Maui Forest. Ma Forest looks gloomy, but I must get to the train station one way or another. It has stopped raining, at least for now. idea what I would need to bring but I think this lock from inside what about this door oh it's only good for padlocks How many padlocks have we seen? No, one. I remember. door was but I know this is whoa can firewood do I need firewood It. Nothing. Painting. Tresco. fire there. I think that needs firewood. Was there another padlock? Was there one outside? I don't think there was one outside.
Maybe it does go there. I don't know what I need to burn, but... Let's see if the firewood goes there, I guess. I can start a fire with matches. I don't know what I need a fire for, but... Oh, I think my cats are playing with a cardboard box. That Damn, that was... Yeah, because I'm looking... I don't know how the temperature monitor in the BIOS works, but like that said like 94, it was like, it was like a 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, then it would crash. You know, those couple times, but now it says my CPU's 65. Like, and that's the hottest spot on the CPU. most bad. What the hell was I even doing? Die <laughs> rat. I'll put the firewood in there, but... Oh, I can get the jug back. For some reason. If the cooler was loose. Yeah, it doesn't seem loose. I mean, I could just... I give myself lots of computer gifts. The ray it's these the ray tracing in this game, it's too much. Look at these graphics. Oh my god. Game. No, I mean this I wonder if Windows did update. Now the fans aren't even doing anything and it's at like sixty five. Like, why the hell did it... You think it was ever at 95? What if, like, something's misreading the temperatures? Can that happen? The solar flare? I mean, those... God. Why do I have so many problems? Go in there. Yeah. The current's 50... S well, CCD1 is 51, and the other one's 52, and then die average says 56, but like... But I did! I reinstalled Windows, and actually. I reinstalled everything. Everything. Oh, I didn't even check down here earlier. What the heck? South Forest? Man, that totally derailed whatever the hell I was doing. Mighty Tech? Tabalo. Montalbano. Immersion room. Yeah, we were like going. It was going good. That took me a while, too. Need to cut the chain. Okay, that's what I had done. I had gone here. I have a cat that wants food, so. You'll make the sacrifice and take it off my hand? Oh, really? Oh, really?
prepared. Hopefully we're fine now. And now I hear the fans kicking on, but it's at 70. Five. But I'd set the fans way higher. Like, the, I had set the fans higher, like, I, you know, to kick on quicker. And I don't know if that had gotten, that setting had gotten removed. Yeah, it's like it idled. Uh, it's like it idled. Went up to 75. The fans kicked on really high. Now it went back down. 900k, but I just I have a 7950x. Hey, my cat wants food though, so I'm gonna feed the cat real quick. I'll be right back. Make sure my computer stays on. I never saw him again. Okay, I'm back. Well, I do wonder if it ever was at 95. And if it was at 95, would it have cooled off this quickly? Back to into under 60? Wood. No, it's not the GPU, it's the CPU. You know, what if... This sounds really stupid. But... You know how... There's that sticker you peel away on the cooler... The thermal paste is under it. Do you think there's a chance they didn't remove that? Did you say that? There's a chance. No, I didn't do I didn't build it. But they did put a custom thermal paste on it, but if they left the sticker on and put thermal paste on there, it would still be the sticker. Well, I picked the parts. Yeah, 
I'll do it later. But what would cause it to spike that fast? Why isn't it spiking now? The cooler? I mean, everything is less than a year old. It's not only this game. There have been uh, weird things happening. I have, and the stress tests are fine. But I think it's because like the fans kind of like try to stay quiet. But if you do like a Cinebench or any something like that, they'll just kick on and stay on full. It did mention we need kerosene to make the lantern work better. Yeah, right now it's under 60. It's at 57. Which makes me wonder what the hell it was doing that made it do stuff. Fans are basically off right now, too. Hello? The bridge is out. Oh? Oliver. Man, you almost scared me to death. What are you doing here? Alicia forgot her purse at the train station. She was going to look for it, but the bridge was struck by lightning. I hope that's not a bad omen. You could use the boat to get to the train station, but the moorings came loose and it drifted away with the current. That's bad news. Where have you been? We're all waiting for you. Silence, boy. I need you to take care of dinner. Can you help with that? Uh, not a good cook. Just remember, I was only in charge of the repairs back in the circus. Stupid Oliver. Look for the recipe in the kitchen and just do it. I'll be with you as soon as I'm do done with Joseph. Get to work. Sir Joseph is dead. Are you feeling well? Boy, there are still some things you don't know. I'll get back to you soon. Go get dinner ready. Do as I say. Well, it's uh, AIO. this game about we're a sad clown and uh something weird's going on but i'm not quite sure but we they're trying to get the circus back together but this one dude's like talking about his like the circus had got burnt down by the dude's brother something weird is happening this house is not in good shape Chesco is, and we have hallucinations. Chesco is ranting, but I'm going to play along. I can't think of anything else to do. Everything is so confusing. I'll find that recipe and do as he asks. The troop is going to look forward to having something to eat. Sad clown. Yeah, you hardly get to be a sad clown in a survival horror game. Usually clowns are no, the enemy in horror games. Unless we are the... What if we are the baddie? No, wait. That's not where I want to go. Dude. You know the other thing that happens since I got the new GPU? It's very... It's hardly noticeable, but every so often I see like a tiny white line like flicker on this monitor, but not the other monitor. And it's always a completely different spot. It's not like the same spot over and over or something. It's horizontal, but it's always very small. What did I do? The Twitch police? What do you... Oh! Oh, cause is that like a... What's the staff? Oh. I see. I was, like, confused. I thought I did something. 
scare me wonder. Grindstone. Solvent. The weird thing about this game is it's kind of like Resident Evil Zero. You throw all your stuff on the ground, you know. I've only fought a couple things though. A bunch of rats. I like the art here. Make carrots. So I guess if the lantern's out of carrot scene, you still get some light. I don't know. I guess we gotta make dinner. I guess. I don't know if it's haunted or if we're just hallucinating. But there's been some weird things happening. Like, the bearded lady is sick. The, the magician. Ow! Rats. Darlene, thanks for the follow. Here's the recipe for the stew. The, uh, here's the stew recipe the old man mentioned. How come I haven't seen it before? Chop pork, two large potatoes, two carrots, one onion, pour water, and cook for 50 minutes. Uh, there are homegrown vegetables ready to harvest in the backyard. God, the backyard. What? Need matches. The pork's here. Looks good. It's too big, apparently, for me to carry. Hello? Uh oh. Stress. What's happening? Why am I stressing? Oh god. There's three of them. Run, clown. Pray again. I have three bullets. But there was three enemies, so I don't... They take more than one bullet. I need more light. That would help, too. Chop. They're all headless. They all have... Yo! You're, you're tired! Stop! Run! No clown. What am I doing? Everything is so strange. What did the monkey do? He took my bullets? Take no, he's still got three bullets. What did monkey do? Did monkey take something? I feel like he didn't take something. Yeah, it's Kuan, but sad clown. Kill enemy, you pray to heal. Hey, yeah, hey, oh, we can only swing three times, and we're freaking tired. God, oh, this is kind of hard. didn't want to shoot him, but maybe I should have. How did I get here? 
It'd be nice if I had, if I still had kerosene. So the lantern would be a bit better. So there's... Dude, my stamina didn't reset. Oily I rag. walked away. I like oily rag. Kitchen knife is good for fighting rodent infestation. It's definitely not good for fighting this dude with the... Okay, this is hard. Guess I'll have to shoot. No! I don't have stamp. Okay. Okay, one. Three. You're dead. Tired. And you're just gonna die. I supposed to gain bullets though. Oh god. Didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh my What the what? Help. There's like six of them out there. Yeah, if your stress hits Max, you die. What's the monkey do, though? Everything's strange. Seem to take any. There you are. I don't know what to do about this problem. Don't I need to go out there? Backyard. I guess I do need to go out there. I just... I don't know if... Um... Like, if I could get to six bullets, I'd be fine. I think. I have a plan, but I'm tired now. I'm tired! Oh, we got him. But he didn't give me any bullets, so I'm screwed. But the monkey doesn't always show up to revive me. Just, sometimes it just... Sad clown has no plan. Sad clown is just a mound of soil. Where am I? Hello? Hello? shouldn't be back here. But, what's that over there? The old hyena cage wagon. Those poor ba beasts die died, burned into death in there. Gives me chills remembering it. There's a light over there. It's another wagon. Betsy and Ginger's wagon. Apparently the old man kept what he could salvage from the ashes.
left of this wagon. Christ your mercy, it can't be. My wagon. I never thought I'd see it again. Why is there a skeleton in my wagon? Boarded up. I'd like to see what's in there. Master Chief looks like without his armor. Oh. Master Chief's a clown? For many years, that wooden piece of junk was my home. Vlad Circus traveled partly by train and partly in a caravan of about 12 wagons. Everyone had their own. Almost my whole world was inside. I had my books, my drawing papers, and my ink bottles. A mirror where I would turn into lazy ollies every afternoon. Afternoon, right before the show, a toilet or wardrobe, my old clock. It was a simple life. Huh? Boards nailed together. Yeah, hey, there's somebody like a skeleton. I'm supposed to cook dinner, but uh, <laughs> I think this is how I do that. Kind of looks like there's a rope or something now, but I guess not. Yeah, I need to refill this lamp somehow. I just don't... ...where I can do that. I'm stressing again. Ah! I just got... ...chopped up, I guess. Are there any consequences to this? These deaths besides progress? Or losing progress? I don't even know how much progress I lose. Bad ending? Bad ending. Probably. Apparently I didn't talk to Harry. After the crash. Based on my notebook. What's here? Jug, solvent, grindstone. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're, I don't know if we're, I, I don't think we're actually dying. I don't really know what's happening. Oh, I guess I did talk to him. Oh yeah, because I have the lockpick. Why isn't it crossed? Oh, it is crossed out. It's just scribbled different. It's not a line. It's a scribble. <laughs> it's 
So we need a way to repair this guy too. Missable. I don't think it's missable quests. Maybe there's some kerosene up here. I don't know. Change the engine belt. Books. I don't need books. been in here, right? Yeah, it's locked. So if the vegetables are in the backyard, and the backyard is full of headless zombies, and I have two bullets. Drinking a tonic will make them all go away, but then what is the effect of drinking tonics? Guys, I ran into Petrescu in the woods again. Petrescu, old man playing hide and seek. He's still looking for Joseph. I think he's delusional. He asked me to make dinner and said he's coming to eat with us. Well, crazy or not, we could use something to eat. My belly's empty. And my head, too. Ventriloquist. Poor strong man's not strong anymore. Hey, Dom, do you have any matches? They're on the table. Take as many as you want. Thanks, Dom. Dinner will be ready soon. My guts are roaring like a lion. Well, we found something. Range it. Kerosene. Could take one of these. I don't know what the downside is. There has to be. But it did let us get through a hallucination earlier. But I don't know if everything's hallucination. Maybe it all is. But usually hallucinations don't drop ammo and... Well, I mean, the ammo could be hallucination. <laughs> Shooting. Oh, I need the ingredients. Okay. Uh, put the matches here, I guess. And then... We gotta get out here, but we have to get these things out of our way so we can look around. No ammo! It's a mound of soil. What does that do? I can barely see. A knife is in bad shape too. Oh. Okay. Well now that I'm getting, like, you definitely can't be too crazy with the running around in this. Another mound of soil. I don't have a shovel though. ammo again. They don't typically drop ammo. It's all a lie. Pray. Hurry up. Pray faster. Slash. This 
seen the enemy flicker in the lightning. What? I didn't even... Was there a button that automatically used that? Pending task. I wasn't trying to use the prey. He stole my tonic. So he does steal. Just certain items. Only. Oh, the down arrow. I accidentally hit the down arrow, which is prey, apparently. Dude, why do I have to be tired at three hits? Why? Yeah, he stole my ton. No, I got tired. You swing three times and you're tired, but my my knife is getting damaged too. Yeah. I was hoping I get some bullets, but I didn't. Well, I have to find the vegetables in the backyard. How am I going to do that? See, I can stunlock them too, but like, I get tired. Here we go. There we go. That works. Just take the hit. Yeah, just take the hit. Just... That's not too bad, actually. I need a flamethrower, yeah. Only the problem is, is our knife. I don't know if the grindstone can fix it or how that works. Vanish demons. Reload. Oh god. No, the stress. Everything's so strange. Isn't that much endurance? I don't know. He's a sad clown. He's not a warrior. No. Curious. Useless, but it's a it says it can sharpen. Apparently, I can still use this though. I hadn't reloaded my gun. I mean, I assume that's the backyard, like the garden. But even if it is the garden, I don't have like a... It seems like we need a shovel or something to dig up the... Well, that wouldn't be... Oh, don't eat the cheese. That's... No, that's bad. I assume this knife is now going to do less damage.
Something. There's a broken key inside the padlock. To cut the chain. So we need bolt cutters, the classic. Oh, I still kill it in four. So what's what does it mean when the knife's at zero? Oh god. Why are there so many? Help! Back in here. There is an easier difficulty, but, you know. We'll be fine, right? 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 Maybe. Huh? Get away from me. Cooking dinner is really hard. <laughs> Hurry again. Chop. Chop. Tired. My head. Chop. Cat. Get over here, cat. In place. Barrel. Yeah, we already did the rainwater. Where's the vegetables? This is not a vegetable. It's a dead person. Dr. Jacob Petrescu, you will be remembered with love. Your sons Vlad and Joseph. 1829-1906. Wow. Such a hypocrite. Petrescu brothers never got along with their father. Jacob and Madison emigrated from Romania. They didn't get along well. Jacob mistreated the whole family. He wanted Vlad to be a lawyer. He would always beat up them, beat up both of them. Joseph left when he was young, after his mother committed suicide. On the other hand, Vlad didn't do it until the old man died. And one day, Jacob fell down the stairs at the Petrescu house. I find it sickening that they're buried into the they're buried in their own backyard. No. Not a lot of happy things here, is there? Madison Lazar Petrescu, unforgettable mother and wife, 1832-1890. Oh kitty. Sorry, sorry. Here you go. Just had food. I don't need more. Okay. Don't you? Or what's this? Kerosene. Hiya. It's my stress. Help. OK. 
Okay. Okay. We found something. Door with a padlock. I think we can deal with that, right? Padlock out. Harry would be proud of me. Yeah, after dying a hundred times in the same spot, I think we're getting some. Hmm, I could sharpen the knife on this table, but it needs a grindstone. Damn it! <laughs> I need... Okay, well. We can go back and get the grindstone. Remember, buy more grindstones. There's only one left in the attic. Okay, shovel. Take. Quick, the grindstone. Then we have this. Oh god, they're everywhere. Ah, no, I'm tired. Ow. Run. I mean, use a couple more spots, I suppose. Grindstone. But I mean, it's just like any. I mean, you know, it's not much different than any of the other survival horror games. Sad clown coupon. Chop. 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 Ow. Chop. Pray. No, not pray. Go back inside. Stop being tired, you stupid crowd. Oh, mound of soil. Okay, first we pray. I, oh, I need space. Okay, leave the un... Two. We cannot fight two. Well, I could. I do have the gun. First, let's do this. I want to get back over to that hut. Then we can sharpen the knife. And then I don't know. I guess the kind of, I don't know if drinking the tonic would make them disappear like, though, like I said. Like, maybe it does. Just fighting hallucinations. We probably are. To 
Tomorrow's the, the time change? Is it really? It's good, I guess. Or is it bad? Wait, I don't remember. Is that the bad one? Well, I mean, computers do it automatically. And I never changed the clock on my desk, so... Uh, it's gonna correct itself automatically, you know? Table. Grindstone. Aha! Sharpen, 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 sharp. Sharpen, sharpen, sharp, sharpen, sharp, sharp. Okay. At least this seems unlimited. I wonder if it's any stronger. <laughs> oh, it is stronger. Two hits. Stop getting tired, clown. It's... It's bad. Clown! Move it, clown. No! Clown. It's like, um, it's kind of like the ghosts, though, in Silent Hill 4 that AoE damage you constantly. It's so, like, even if you keep, like, just having something in the area, just kind of, like, uh, can finish you off. It's okay. We made progress, you know, so we're probably fine. Give me the onion. Ooh, inventory. I didn't see this. Plus one. Iron cover. Drain tunnel. I don't know how to remove it. Oh, I can go in here. What? Horsey, no! It's dead. What could have happened to him? Reminds me of Sullivan, Betsy and Ginger's horse. Poor creature of God. Jeepus? I try not to think of the good old Vlad Circus, but that poor creature reminds me of Sullivan. He was an incredible specimen among the circus animals Petrescu's favorite with his beloved Siamese twins. He trained Betsy and Ginger himself to ride Sullivan upright and trot around the main ring. If, on you, if only you had seen that, Mother. It was pathetic, but the audience was clapping for them as much as for Harry and me. Or see. Ugh! Who let you here? Ooh. Seems like it takes a while for your stamina to come back. You like you swing once, but like it. Seems to take the same amount of time no matter what. Okay, well, we've got the onion. Use with... I don't know. Thought maybe we would have to eat horse meat. This game is sad, you know. We have to do sad clown things. That's... Probably what sad clowns do? I don't know. Carrots. 
What are the ingredients? Oh, I still need... We need chopped pork. Potato. Two carrot. Onion. Let's go use what we have and look for the potatoes. Looks like that was, yeah, two carrot onion. Probably fine just sitting in a closet here and like what could be bad wrong with it? Chop it first. Whoa. You see that I I did it. Okay, we need potato. I'm a potato, but I think that counts. guy that won the billion dollar lotto about three twenty million dollar mansions and it's a billion so a billion will take a little bit longer to get through than some of the other lotto winners but it's so weird like I don't think I'd do much if I won I try you know what I'd probably do though I'd probably try to like produce a game like get a game studio going but I wouldn't, you know, but just buying random stuff, like, sure, I'd have an up-to-date computer and a house, but... The 600 million is harder to get through than, it's like, some lot of winners, they have, like, 10 million or something, and they burn through the whole thing. Like, 600 million is a lot harder to just burn through. You can do it, obviously, but... And the thing is, like, he's bought properties, so the, those would, will retain some value. But still, it's crazy. Fail soft, yeah, I'd make fail soft. Okay, we got one. Just light the money on fire. Wait, he didn't... No! There's... Two of them right next to each other. It's not fair. How will I ever find the potatoes? Oh, I need to get Martian Gothic remade. Sad clown. Kill zombie. Very sad. For the sort of people who like that sort of thing, that's the sort of thing they like. Make it to the other building, please. Keep bumping into stuff, too. Oh, no, don't get tired. No, clown. Sad clown. No, monkey, don't. What are you taking? No. Nothing. I have nothing to take. 
just need potatoes. I just need potatoes. Are we sure there's no potatoes in here? There's cheese. Banana. Potato. <laughs> They're dark. No! Not fair. Game is cozy, but they're dorky. You know, <sighs> Just a sad clown, and look at all this. They're everywhere. What did I do? Yeah, we'd remake Martian Gothic. I get like indie size studio or or something if I was a billionaire you know well I'd still try to produce some help produce a Martian gothic remake just can't fund it on my own you know but if I won the lottery, I could. <laughs> RPG maker. There's definitely some, like, you know studios I think could do it if the one that made stasis the stasis series they could easily do it for sure I think I'd give him some money or not give but try to help something like that Where's my potatoes? Where are they? Potatoes are supposed to be out here, right? Now it is. <sighs> there are homegrown vegetables. That's all it's uh, okay. Oh, it says I need water too. Do I have to get the water from out here? I probably do. Potato. What if the potatoes were just growing out of the graves? So I might have to go get the uh, jug, which is in the kitchen. It's not far. Mont Montalbano. Everything he steals is in there. No, I put the banana on the plate for him. Oh, I found it. Potato? I don't need a shovel anymore. The co Veronica equivalent in Silent Hill? I don't know. Silent Hill 3? <laughs> they don't really have a game that... say really does that potato water is missing 
Wasn't the jug in here? I thought the jug was here. Did I bring jug back to center? I might have. Book of Memories. A legendary game. I'm still super confused about what caused that massive temperature spike on my CPU. Because it just been sitting at 60 ever since. Ascension. Oh god. I was going to play Stray Souls, which is like that indie game that looks like a bad Silent Hill clone that looks hilarious. And then I decided to play this instead, which was probably a good decision because this is actually cool. Granted, I still might, I'm still probably going to play Stray Souls because it looks hilarious. It's possible, like, yeah, like, it could be the same Windows update that did whatever the other day, now that, like, because I did reinstall everything with the, I don't know, it's so weird, because when we started playing You Will Die Here Tonight, and all of a sudden, at some point, like, I just heard the computer get really, really loud. It is almost identical to what happened that I don't know I mean I still might take a look to make sure everything's installed correctly but yeah run clown Well, I mean, Windows is usually to blame. It's pretty bad. Cursed PC, yeah. Could have cursed PC. It's, it's definitely seeming like I have a cursed PC. Oh yeah, the water's up here. But I guess I'll... Wait, more bullets. Okay, now we actually have ammo. I mean, everything in this PC is, is you know, custom parts. It's not like... I picked all the parts, I just didn't assemble So as long as none of the parts are actually broken. I mean, I can just look at things, whatever, you know. No, ow, ow, oh, that hurt. That was so rude. Good night, center keys. How long this game is too. Probably not super long. Most of these aren't. We shall see. Gotta get to the water. Die! Monster. Don't belong in this world. Jug of water. Yeah, all the water in the the building doesn't seem to work. Oh, 
Eleven billion. It's my favorite number. Well, now you're going to notice a massive difference when you watch a console person for uh, like a game like Alan Wake versus a PC person. But there's always going to be people who are like, I don't have problems on controller, but then, I mean, they don't necessarily have problems, but they obviously aren't as fast, you know? <laughs> think that amount of water will be enough. All the ingredients are ready. We just need to turn on the stove. Apparently in like matchmaking they try to match controller people against controller people in a lot of competitive games as well. Light the fires. Time to cook dinner. I know. Cooking dinner was really hard. That smell reminds me of the time of me it reminds me of when the old man used to cook his tasty stews during our long shifts. Dinner time, let's get the troop together. Look at us all. Thank Christ our Lord for this food. Hey, I don't want to brag, but this is exquisite. I hardly a dining knew room. Petrescu's recipe. He really did an awesome job. Great, Ollie. It smells so good. I'll go bring a plate for Alicia. It will do her good. And where the hell has the old man gone? Wasn't he going to join us for dinner? Shut your mouth, Jake. Don't talk like that stupid puppet anymore. Take it easy, sister. I'm Jake's thinking head. Yours is Ginger. The puppet's right, girl. <laughs> I don't know what you guys... about you guys, but I'm getting real tired of all this mystery. Trescu assured me he'd be here for dinner as soon as he found Joseph. That's crazy. What do you think, doctor? Everyone knows that his brother Joseph died in the electric chair. Mr. Petrescu doesn't seem to be in his senses. She's in bed. That Joseph Scum is, the, is as good as dead. Oh, that's right. What he did is unforgivable. Unforgivable. Oi, oi, let's try to remember those off. Not, let's try not to remember those awful moments. Now let's dine in peace. Ginger and I will take care of finding Father Vlad. A dining room. Dining room, yeah, it was a dining room. I never thought a scrawny guy like you could carry a scrawny guy like him. I'm impressed, my friend. No way. He gave us a real scare. He went pale as a sack of flour. What? What happened? Hello? What happened to me? My stomach is sick. Oh no. Now we're even more sad. Oh, Tom. Is my mirror like that? Oliver, how are you feeling, friend? My stomach is sick. What happened? You had an accident during dinner, huh? You choked on something. For Christ's sake. It looks like your ration of stew came with a surprise. It was such so much fun, clown. We were all staring at each other's faces while you were spinning around like a top. You were grabbing your neck and spitting like a pig in a slaughterhouse. Ha! Huh. I loved it. You have to do it again. Wait, what the heck? I don't remember any. No way. Then you collapsed. Benancio. And I took you to the bedroom. 
Ranjit is jealous. When he did his sword swallowing act, he was half as funny as you were. Huh? water. It's a bathtub. It's empty. Tonic. Yeah, but this is 1920s psych meds. It's probably like radium or something. Swallow something near dinner. I have to get that thing out of my stomach. Wait, what? Oh, the cheese. The cheese. Radium, yeah. Radium was in everything. They put radium in, like, makeup. They put radium in medicine. Camera's gone. What the hell? I hope you still work, my friend. They would make uh, glow-in-the-dark watches, and they'd paint the numbers with radium. And then all the ladies who did that job, like, lost all their teeth, because for some reason they were supposed to lick the brush to make the tip, like, really fine, so paint the numbers. So they're basically just putting radium in their mouth. We used radium for everything. It was great. Solvent. Yeah, the camera might end up revealing some kind of ghost of his dead brother or something. Who knows? You try it. Radium. They, they thought it was like a wonder drug or something. It was weird. Could do anything. Jeez. So I'd have to get something out of my stomach. We threw up last time. We... You... I think my stomach feels better now. Every cloud has a silver lining. A ring? Gross, I had a ring in my stomach. It's covered in vomit. I'm not gonna grab it unless there's a very good- what? Just... It's a... Unless there's a very good reason? I just have to leave it there? I still don't know how to get to the train station. That bridge was out. Get the rats before they get me. Tub. Dirty water. See, it needs a rest. So, what do I need to be doing? What would a, just a generic solvent do? Dissolve something? That's the only thing I, I don't know why I. Pretty sure that's what it would do. God, I don't think, um, 
It's Silent Hill. I don't think that's quite what's happening. Hi guys. <sighs> nothing new from me. Probably nothing new from any of them. Oh, here's something. Life after the fire. Hey, tell me how you've been after the fire. Uh, I've been working in crappy theaters. Sometime Venancio and I would sleep staring at the stars. I will change you for a decent ventriloquist as soon as possible. What about you, Oliver? When did you leave Penhurst Asylum? What have you been up to? I was discharged by Josh, Dr. Jasper last year. I have been doing repair work in Scranville. Some carpentry, painting, electrical stuff, those sorts of work. Just like I used to back at the circus. But things weren't going well. When I saw Petrescu's letter inviting me to reopen this Vlad circus, it felt like a miracle. Jeez, of course, all the truth feels the same. There are tough times, even worse than when I came from Puerto Rico. You better not crap your pants, clown. No, man, I'm recovered. <laughs> Joseph's execution. How was Joseph's execution? Were you there? No way, no, my friend. I couldn't bear it. I only saw what was in the newspaper. It was all over the country. Nobody from the troop dared to go, no. Dr. Jasper told me about Joseph. Almost two years later, when he was already recovered, I had no clue. Electrocution is a horrible way to go, Ollie. They say there's smoke coming out of your head and the bag they put on you. It catches fire, it burns. Jesus, I never thought of that. Jeez, let's not talk about this. It's sad. Fire. How did you and Venancio manage to escape the fire? We were up on the scaffolding with the projector, remember? We were among the first to notice the fire. Down below were Harry, were Harry, Alicia, and yourself, my friend. So when we saw the flames burning the canvas, we bolted. I won't forget you throwing me into the void, friend. If I hadn't, we wouldn't be here now, Venancio. Fortunately, your head is really hard. Brooklyn Dilmer is a good friend of mine and an exceptional ventriloquist. It is almost impossible to notice the movement of his lips when he voices Financio. Sometimes I can't tell them apart. I usually imagine that Jake is the actual puppet. What if he is? Found it. Any news? I think I just go to the the camera, it looked like he took it to the backyard, so I just, I think I'll just go there. Backyard's always full of demons, but you know, it'll be fine. I'm tired. I'm tired. Is he out here? He might be out here. Chop. Chop. No, the third chop didn't, took too long. Tired. Combat is simple, but it's fine. Except... Like, it's way too easy to get tired. I guess. But now that I'm starting to get ammo, we'll be able to just use that. And not have to worry about it. Was he out here or was he out front? Might have been out front. Must have been out front. Unless he was by the cards. I don't think he was by the cards. Not 
sure where he was, but he was trying to take a picture of something. Those cameras take forever, so it should still be there. Moon. Moon. Tired. Run. Was he out here? Rose. Pretty cool. Maybe he was out here. By the circus cart or something. I don't know. Hello? I have no idea where he was. He could have been... out back, I guess. Still need to fix the elevator. Oh. said where I left it, because it's on the floor. It just keeps track of your stuff. Well, I guess it's got to be out back. I've got a solvent, matches, and this stuff. I know we want to set the clock to like 8. Unwilling to pick up this ring until we need it, which basically means we're just gonna have to come back for it. Most likely. We'll have to check out by the uh all the wrecked carts or whatever. South forest, I guess. Go in here first. Uh, grindstone. Trader, you say some strange things. He might be out here. There was nothing out here before. He took the camera somewhere. I assume I'm supposed to find him. But what do I know? Hello? 
Any demons? Here we go. There he is. Found him. Mr. Petrescu, what are you doing here? Good to see you, boy. I'm getting the camera ready. It hasn't been used for years. I hope it still works. If you're expecting it for dinner. Why didn't you show up? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry about that. I was looking for Joseph. Fortunately, I've already found him. I've locked him in my mother's old atelier. He won't get lost anymore. Wait, what? Oh. Huh? Cut it out, man. Joseph died in the electric chair in 1922. Why the hell are you messing with us? Why did you make us come here? You think I'm a crazy old man, don't you? I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Well, call it a miracle or curse. Whatever you like, but Joseph survived the electrocution. What? How's that even possible? My brother's alive, so to speak. The bastards fried his brain. He can barely talk or walk. The judge considered the sentence served. Let's just say I got him to grant me custody, although... Um... Got him to grant me custody, although that every eventually left me broke. He's been living here with me ever since. You know Joseph wasn't the best brother. Not after what he did, but he's the only one I have. Why didn't you ever tell us? I was going to tell you at dinner. Then Joseph got lost and the situation got out of hand. This is unbelievable. Suppose if you actually survive the death sentence, that does end your sentence, right? Smile, Oliver. Whoa! Huh? What the? It's the circus! Oh no. circus. Wait, what? Huh? Wow, I got caught up in the memories of the circus. Old Petrescu founded the Vlad Circus in the spring of 1914. The dreams of his life, once a mere freak alley in Farsing Hills, a small town the west of Ma. Harry and I Met him there. Back then, we were Brock, the magician, and Lazy Ollie. Vlad took us with him and helped uh, us out of poverty. Where did the old man go? I can't believe Joseph is alive, but Petrescu didn't, wouldn't lie about something like that. Left the camera out in the open. Add, I wonder if I can get kerosene into that lamp. <clears throat> I wonder if I could use that container that I used for water to put kerosene in. Survived a firing... I suppose somebody must have survived a firing squad, because eventually everybody's going to miss, because... Who's there? <laughs> what the hell? The hyenas. The guy's name was that. The hyenas. They're here. Huh? What the hell are you? What are you doing here? Kid! Come back here. Where did that kid come from? What was that little boy doing in the middle of this wagon graveyard during a horrible night? He must have been eight or nine years old, but he didn't seem to be scared. He reminds me of myself. Uh-oh. Kid. Is us. Go. Hmm. 
think it's pretty decent. I like the look and stuff. Combat's a bit... Well... Melee combat's a bit weird because you run out of stamina so fast. Well, I don't know where that kid went. But now I've got bullets. 21 bullets. That's a good number. But I'll probably still just keep hitting things with this knife. I'm not hitting. We're going through them. Damn it. Run. It's weirdly like Kuan. Not that... Sewer screams. Wait, what? Sewer was over here, right? Hello? Timmy? I hear the screaming. What's going on down there? Sure, I'll just go. It's fine, right? What the? Uh, for the crucifixion of Christ, is that a wagon down here? I'm getting worse. This can't be real. Didn't want to remember this, but day of the fire, some ran to take refuge inside the wagon since the fire was everywhere. That that's not gonna work. Oh my God, many burned to death or suffocated by the smoke. Pipe. Part of the pipe is broken. Hmm. There's a rag inside the crack. This must be a dragon. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a lot of rats. Yeah. Oily rag. No, like oily my rag. stress. Sharp knife better. Let me go get a tonic. I think the tonics are specifically for bypassing things like that. My bullets. All of them. People. All of them. I have 16 still. Not all of them. He took like six. Try this. So, I'm just curious. Oops. Does that mean all the water works now? That tub drained. The one with all the. Our hero. It's just empty, okay. More resin evil. It's closer to survival horror. It 
It's definitely not like Resident Evil, though. It's really... Uh, I mean, we're a clown. House. It worked. Locked with the lock. No, oh, no, the rats. I did, but you have to drink the potion to get rid of the huge hallucinations that block your way. No, monkey, no. Oh, why? Okay. Oh, there's a key in the... The, the sink that got drained. Like, take. It's for a circus wagon. Going back out there. Glad circus. We are a sad clown. Very sad. Very clown. Seven Ray D's origin story. your PC in the freezer? Wait, what? Why'd you put your PC in the freezer? I got a rag. Guys, there's a chance. There's a chance of oily rag. We have the, We have half the puzzle. But wait. Oh, this is the one out front. There's a wagon out front, too. Oily oh. rag. I like oily rag. The PC's under warranty. The fans grind. I'm sure there's nothing like just stuck in the fan. Like try to air it. It's one of those compressed air things or something. We're demanding that Alan wake on Max. Try. No, I like the look of this game. So far, that's these guys, these headless dudes, have been the only enemy so far. Put the whole PC in the freezer. 
I think something bad would happen, because, like... Condensation or something. Right? No, I'm tired. Chop. Chop. I mean, depending on what laptop you have, if it's easy to open, you could probably see if there's something wrong where the fan is. Good heavens. Everything as it used is as it used to be. The old man used to get out of his wagon only for the shows and fi to fix supper. Come to think of it, he was very lonely. His only company used to be Montalbano, who was practically a baby at the time. Oh, yes, and Jake. Sometimes they drank together. Engine belt. I needed that. Kerosene lamp. What the? Is this what the solvent's for? Picture frame Petrescu gave us for seven years of Vlad Circus is still here. We all have one of these in our wagons. The glass is very dirty. I can't see the picture. Top hat. Every time Petrescu turned it on, he turned into another character. He would go out into the circus ring with his ringmaster costume and his megaphone. He would introduce us with real pride. We were family. We owe that man, that to the old man. He had the courage to put us all out of our misery. He provided us with a home. He brought us dignity. Dignity. I have to try the solvent. Also, this belt, I know where it goes, so I might as well do that. I'm tired. Tired? That's the line when the stream ends. I'm just saying it because he keeps getting tired. Done. This will help the motor work properly. Okay. Where can we go with the elevator?
picture frame. Solvent? Yes, the solvent might be useful to remove dirt from the glass, but just pouring in the liquid out won't do any Oh. Oily soaked cloth. Got the dirt off the glass. Now I can see the picture. Oily ray. Whoa. I like oily Look ray. At them. Memories. Wow. Oily rag. I like oily rag. There, the picture looks great. We'll have a great new poster. There can't be another group of freaks this twisted in the whole country. Monsieur Joseph, mind your words, there are ladies present. Don't worry, Dominique. Monsieur Joseph doesn't offend us, does he, girls? We already know him. I'll order some picture frames for everyone. This picture is worth it. A gift from Vlad Circus for our first seven years. I've lost the key to my wagon. Maybe Montalbano stole it. I spent the whole afternoon taking the lock apart. Geez, you have your head in the clouds, my friend. Don't blame the monkey. You should have tied the keychain to your balls. Wait, what? Huh? From now on, do as we do, Oliver. We always keep a spare key. Huh? Two heads are definitely better than one. Let me guess. It's the one Ginger carries on the pendant Vlad gave her. Not even close. He really knows the Oliver. You should swallow your tongue. The key to the pendant is from our secret chest, huh? We have women's gadgets in there. I give my eye teeth to see inside the secret chest. Not a chance, Jake, over my dead body. So where are you keeping the spare key to the wagon? That's the one we keep hidden behind the... I can't remember anything else. Behind what do? Oh. Oops. That'll tell us how to get into their wagon. Maybe. It's alarm. Can't remember what Betsy and Ginger's wagon looked like. Delicious. I think Remedy will do a control too. They're gonna do an Alan Wake DLC, obviously, based on that ending. Uh Chescu finally got a bear. He has been looking for one for ages. Now that I can't lift Morita anymore ever since the asylum accident. I'll do a special act with Bruto. We've become close friends. He's a very noble animal, but he doesn't get along with Morita. The elephant is jealous, naturally. He looks... Ah, oh, look at who's talking about being jealous. Hey, if you're talking about Alicia, uh, it's a well-trained bear. Petrescu told me he knows some tricks he lear had learned in another circus. Oi, 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 Bruto knows some tricks. He has a fabulous jacket. Damn it, Jake. You're gonna piss me off. DLC the musical. I guess Jessie was sort of actually in Alan Wake 2, but you just heard her say one word, I think. It's like hello or something. Yeah, with Dr. Darren. On the TV. <laughs> Will I have a chance to be alone, beautiful? You'll know what the, a real man is. Huh? That's enough, Joseph. Leave me alone. Your legless little friend doesn't need to know. Hey, what's up, Ale? Don't be nosy, Mills. Okay, I can defend myself. 
Joseph, you're drunk. Get the hell out of here. You don't want your brother to find out about this. Huh? Snap out of it. Picture brings back so many memories. Might as well. Put it up, I guess. Wait. What is this? Well, this must be Mrs. Petrescu's atelier. Oh, this is where frickin' Joseph is. Uh-oh. What have I done? Oil portrait. I like drawing, but I've never had a chance to paint anything. God. Bodoon. Grinch. I need that. What was that? Oh, no. I'm gonna put the lock back on. I don't like being locked. Studies of the human body, Miss Petrescu was quite good with the brushes. Dead nature looks very realistic. Geez, I could never paint like that. Blanket? What the hell? Uh. Huh? Uh, guess that's Joseph. Wake up. Dr. Jasper. Mr. Mills, I finally found you. Someone locked the door from the outside. I've been look I've been looking for you for a long time. Are you alright? I just saw Joseph. Old Petrescu was telling the truth. Mr. Mills was just hallucin more hallucinations. No, no, doctor. I'm not crazy. Joseph survived the electric chair. His brain was fried. He, bar can, he can barely talk and walk. Glad Petrescu was, has him living here with him. Believe me, please. Mm -hmm. I suggest you don't say anything about this to your friends for now. I'll call the Scranville police chief to corroborate your claims. I understand, doctor. I won't say a word. I see you, I'll see you later. Try to remain calm. memory of Joseph Petrescu haunts me like a ghost. How is he still alive? God works in mysterious ways. He was miserable. But men should not be the ones to pass judgment on other men's mistakes. Yes. Inventory. No, right? No, not the canvas. But oh, the canvas. I see it. There we go. I don't know if the psychologist is bad. He might not be. They need another board. Okay, well we have the wrench, which I think works in the sewer. Probably. I think. I don't know if I can go grab that board from earlier, though. Can I? What's 
What's the best horror game that is not actually horror? What does that mean, though? Best horror game that's not scary? I think Diablo 1 qualifies as horror on its own. Now, to me, the best horror game that's not actually horror would be something that's unintentionally scary. Something that's, like, terrifying, but it's not supposed to be. Well, humor horror... Yeah, that's, like... Horror parody or comedy. Yeah. I guess a lot of those have actual horror in them. There are some things that, you know, are scary, but they're not meant to be. Well, horror is not a genre, it's a, it's a theme. Like, horror can be any genre. RPG, no. Horror is just a... It's more of a storytelling method, I think. Alicia, how are you doing? Uh, or what are you doing up? Feeling better? Oliver, I was waiting for you. The tea has soothed my pain, but I'm a little anxious. Where is Harry? Catching up with Jake and Dom. Have you brought my purse? I couldn't make it to the train station. The bridge burned down because of a lightning strike. Can you believe it? Well, yeah, Silent Hill's a horror game, Fatal Frame, obviously. But just because a game has RPG elements doesn't make it not horror. What are you talking about? Oliver, I need that medicine. Don't you understand? I know, Ale. I just don't see how to cross the creek. Trescu said there's a boat somewhere. Maybe if... Oliver, listen to me, you jerk. I need my purse. I need it now. Hey, you better calm down. You might hurt the baby. I don't care about the baby. I don't want to keep it, Oliver. That's what the purse is for. That's what I figured. Jesus Christ, what did you just say? What I want is my in my purse. Go get it, or I'll hurt myself until I abort this damn fetus. Wow. It's your addiction, isn't it? You want heroin, it's in your purse. I had to dump it at the station before Harry found out. Bastard always on top of me, checking up on me. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. Heroin? I can't believe any of this. Damn it. Guess it was bound to happen sooner or later. You two, you've always kept everything from me. I'm such an idiot. Hey, what are you talking about? That's not true. Dialogue, listen to me. No, there's nothing for me to listen to. You've been using me all this time. That's the only truth. You'll never see me again. I'll do my best trick. Disappear. And you, Oliver. I thought you were my friend. More than that, my brother. But you're just a lying clown. No, I'm not a lie. I'm just a sad clown. Screw you. I'm not lying. I'm just sad. Harry, for crying out loud. I need that, that purse, Oliver. Go find it. The rest doesn't matter. I feel like I want to rip myself to pieces. Doesn't matter. Just want my damn purse. My whole body's shaking. Just sad. I don't want to go get heroin. What the heck? I'll be hammered till I drop. Hey, Harry. Get out of my sight, Oliver. Okay. Even Diablo 1? I think Diablo 1 very much intends to be scary. Maybe not constantly, but... But to me, like, the best non-horror horror game would actually be something that is scary that doesn't intend to be scary.
He has no intention of being scary. It just happens. The Siamese twin spare key. You remember the time I lost my wagon key? Jeez, yeah. How could I forget when Venancio suggested that you tie the key to your pulse? That was one of my best punchlines. And by any chance, do you remember where Betsy and Ginger said they kept their spare key? I don't remember. Sorry about that. Well, I do. They hid it behind one of the wheels. Why are you asking that, clown? No particular reason. I think you're drinking again. Dude, I remember... I thought Diablo 1 was really creepy. Like, you step in... Like, the music when you get into the crypt is really creepy. The butcher... I guess it wears off after a while, but... And then after Diablo 1, Diablo gave up on being creepy. I mean, some people say Diablo 2 is dark and scary, but are kind of creepy, but I would say no. <laughs> but Diablo 1... But of course I was pretty young, but... Certainly have a lot less horror experience than I have now. Not much is creepy to me. Sometimes it's hard for me to even know what's trying to be creepy. Chop, chop, chop. Subnautica? Yeah, I've heard Subnautica is like creepy at times. But, I mean... What? I already got rid of this. It's back? I have to, have to deal with it again? I need to bring another tonic. Well, yeah, Diablo now is about addiction. For sure. Like, it's all, it's designed around addiction. Entire game. But, like, Diablo 1? I mean, they, I mean, they might have happened to hit on something, but, like, I don't really think that was their intent. Why does you know, Diablo need, you know, it needs jungles? Now, I don't know what happened. Like, Diablo 1, you just are going down a crypt, and it's getting, like, creepier and creepier and more. But yeah, eventually it wears off, because, you know, lots of combat. But especially early on. A lot of games are kind of creepy up front, though, and then they wear off. I guess Diablo 4 is open world. I don't know what you do in that world, but... It's there, apparently. Oh, it's gone. Let me in. The gate is open. Hello? That rat was huge. These rats are huge. What the heck? Places are... Oh no, we're gonna find a giant rat. That's not a giant rat. Damn demons, get out of my head. God, God's way up lifts me. I am your son and I believe in your goodness and protection. Lord, show me mercy. 
I am the holy sad clown. Keep the demons away from me. If I have sinned, forgive me, mother. If only you were here with me. Wait, what the hell? She's here. Fear not, my child. The Lord will always protect you. Oh, no. It's just a memory. I'm not scared anymore. I just feel pain. What? I'm not scared. Now it's all pain. Even better. I'm tired of being tormented in my soul. Oh, I played Tormented Souls. That was a good game. I have a seat too. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta get untired. You have to. Treebus. Hit it. Hit it again. Hit it again. I'm tired. Hold on. Okay. Hit it again. <laughs> Out of my head, demon. The power of violence compels you. <laughs> I love Tormented Souls. Well, I don't know about love, but I really like... I thought Tormented Souls was really good. Hope Tormented Souls 2 is good. Ow! I got burned it. Do I need more tonics? What do I do? You can only take one at a time. Looks like I can go up though, which I'll probably... Oh my god, the rats. You have to get the rats, because if they keep hitting you... Oh, we're, we're, we're immune, we're in a dialogue. Look how evil we look now. Damn rat. Now we're just sad again. Back to sad. Super sad. <laughs> Screaming. Where are they? Huh? Where am I? Why am I here? Why is there even a sewer out here? Like, there's no city. Is this the other side? Yeah, this is the other side of this. So if I get a board. Static? Uh, is there static? You don't hear static, trade. Wander doesn't hear static. Maybe it's the game. Just something in the game makes you think it's static. What? I don't... Run! Tired. Run! Hearing things. I hear things. I don't know what they are, but I do hear things. Sometimes I feel like people are watching me. Like right now, actually, I kind of feel like people like I'm being watched. It's not just by like one person, it's by like a relatively big number of people. I don't know. It's like I just feel there's eyes on me. I just don't I don't but every time I look around, there's no you're watching. It's a dolphin. <laughs> you would think if a bunch of people are watching me, like, 
They'd have to be close by. The cats would notice, right? They have a good sense of smell and stuff. They don't notice. They don't notice anything. Spare key. Spare key, the Siamese twins were hiding is still here. Venancio was right. Where are they? We haven't seen the twins. What if they're in here right now? They're not. Christ's sake. The last time I was here was one of the most terrible days of Vlad's, the Vlad Circus. So many years have passed. Joseph abused Alicia in this wagon. I hope he burns in hell. Anyway, I almost expected to find Betsy and Ginger here. Siamese twins had more stuff in their wagon than all the others combined. Except for mirrors. There weren't any here. No reflections. They had other things. Other things? Memories. Handsaw? My little sister says you could get a handsaw for us, Oliver. I guess so. What do you want it for, ladies? To split Betsy's head off, of course. Don't be silly, girl. We need a handsaw to make a coat of mail for Alicia. You know, a flexible armor she can wear under her sequin dress. We don't have anything for cutting metal. Stupid Harry will do his knife throwing number with Alicia. The girl's no fool, huh? I wouldn't trust my luck to Brock's marksmanship either. Harry won't even know Alicia's wearing it, and you won't tell him anything, Oliver. All right, I'll get your hands up, but be careful. If Montalbano finds it, it, he could get hurt. Keep that, keep it under the bed. That dumb monkey won't find it. Do you recommend your Chinese filthy us completed? What? Well, I mean, I, I, I guess they finished the game. I didn't mean to do this again. <laughs> so it's complete. Similar detention. Detention's good. Betsy and Ginger's old handsaw. I don't have such a bad memory after all. It's locked. That's so just open the trunk with something. Memories. I wouldn't have asked you if it wasn't important, but it was my best birthday present ever. You're my soul brother. I would do anything for you. If you want, I can drive you back to Penhurst in this cart. We made a mistake, Harry. We shouldn't have tried. Dominique has paid a high price for it. I know, and I'm sorry. I really am. But we had to get Alicia to, out of the asylum. I really wish to marry her. It was the only way, Ollie. She wouldn't have allowed, been allowed to leave Penhurst on her own. We shouldn't have thought of kidnapping her. Nothing you can say will change that. I've apologized to Dominique so much that he can't stand me anymore. Anyway, thanks to Petresca, Alicia is now in the circus. I owe that to the old man. Hmm. I 
dear Alicia was abandoned when she was just a child. She survived on the streets as a prostitute, God help her. She was addicted to heroin when she decided to start living her religious life by entering the convent of St. Magdalena Ventura in Scranville. After the mother superior discovered her addiction, she locked her up in Penhurst Asylum. I guess the intention was to have her rehabilitated, but I think her... Her... Set this, huh? Problem has had a lot to do with it. That beard of hers has always been a curse. Is that what it's called? The, I guess. If a woman has a beard, is that what it is? That the name of the condition? Maybe. So I have a saw. Saw. The saw get me in here. Might. Doesn't it, why isn't it a good idea? It's a board. You have a saw. Saws are designed for cutting boards. Stupid clown. need a saw for then. Do I need to bring another tonic into the sewer? Hey, I'll go in here. Jeebus, help this sad clown. Where's my kerosene? Oh. <laughs> Tired again. Oh. We're not using bolt cutters. We're using a saw. It's more like Martian Gothic then. Done. I can enter now. Uh, Petrescu left a bunch of old keys to rust. Rusty keys. Stop. Aha! I like it when a door opens. Yeah, those are bullets. Why are there so many rusty keys? Why does he have so many keys? I guess he just steals them. So all the keys he's stolen over the years. Jazz records, the ruin. Mo the monkey broke the, the music. Hey, what are you doing with that key? Get down, Montalbano. That's a shiny key. Where did he steal it from? Banana? Gun? No, I won't use the gun. Try banana. Maybe we can make an exchange. Still 
leaving the ring here. Yeah, we don't need it enough to actually pick it up and watch to rinse it off. Hey, monkey. Banana? What do you mean, what's the point of doing that? It's a banana. Okay, we need to fix the clock. So he comes for the banana. And then we run in here while he's eating banana. But I don't have the, uh, the hand. But we do... this elevator works now. Up. Okay, this is here. Stop it. God. We gotta move. Oh, now that's. We've unlocked this door. Filthy rat. No, you're tired again. Why? So tired. Oh, the board. That's for uh, that one spot. And we can take a tonic, I think, to get through that other fire thing. Right, we don't get diseases from all these rat bites. Because we've had a lot of them. Must be what the key is for. Potential. What is this? Matches. Tony. A plan. I have a plan. Think. The ultimate clown plan, I think. Fill this up again. Bridge. Yeah, here we go. We have a tonic. So we can get rid of the second hallucination. <laughs> Holy crap, where you guys come from? Away, hallucination. You're better now. Strange, no one is here. Is that a pipe? Can I have it? What the? Uh, 
That was not expected. Wait, who's that walking away? The Siamese twins are dead. What the hell? For Christ's sake, have I been dreaming? No, that's... What's his name? Here's the boat. I knew they was... I did notice they weren't in the uh, house anymore. Boat must be... That must be the boat adrift the old man mentioned. Oh, no. Cannot be. Betsy and Ginger's pendant. Holy mother of God. Betsy and Ginger might be dead. Mother, I thought it was my imagination, but I found Ginger's pendant. Someone may have murdered them. God help us. Uh, got a... Stop. Wait, so the, the boat went this way, but... What does this do? It has a key. That's gonna be for the... Back to their cabin. Or whatever you call it. Not cabin. I mean, there was screaming in the sewer, I don't... Earlier. Now it's gone. So I guess that was them. Now I'm pretty sure the dude who walked away is Joseph. Unless it's us, but... Someone's killing all the freaks, but... Yeah, it could be. Something's like that. There's a shotgun and a pair of players in here. <clears throat> it's the old shotgun Vlad gave. <coughs> Betsy and Ginger to defend themselves against Joseph. If only they had blown the creep's brains out before he set the circus on fire. I could use this weapon. I hope it works. I have eight shoddy shells? Okay. Moving nails, so our cart now. Boy, you're still around. This is no time for you to be out here alone. Lazy Ollie. What the? Christ's sake. Tommy, is that you? Are you alive? <laughs> Damn it, Tommy. Where are you going? Fire? More fire. What? Oh, help! I can't do this with the demons! Ugh. Help! 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 Oh no! The de- Ow! Help! Sad clown. really have much time to fight because of the stress thing. Are they gone? No, they're not gone. What the hell? Maybe I have to get a tonic.
gonna trap you. Clown. Looks rough. Maybe this will work. Okay, as long as I actually hit them, do to seem to go down and one. Demon hyena. Oh god. Yeah. Or two maybe. Oh god, help. You're sad clowning. Music is getting dramatical. Damn those demons. Dude, it's my old wagon. Sometimes I cannot. There we go. Interact with what I want. No, no wagon, no. There's the last board. Tommy, please tell me you're in. Sad clown. I deserve to be in hell. Ollie, it wasn't your fault. Stop crying. Tommy. Look. <laughs> Thomas Sanders was an orphan. When the fire broke out, he tried to hide in my wagon. I heard him call my name. I ran almost blinded by the smoke, and I climbed desperately, but I couldn't save him. Mother, he died in my arms. Tommy dreamed of being part of the Vlad Circus. Want to be a tamer like Dominique? Shouldn't have died like that. I must. I must move on. The tea clock was my only valuable possession. I never got around to repairing it completely. It only has the hour hand. I need that. The old mannequin where I mended Lazy Ollie's costume. Benancio used to say he was funnier than me. I like the little head here with the nose. Picture frame Petrescu gave us for the seven years of Vlad Circus is still here. We all had one of these in our wagons. Memories. 
don't know. I might have all the maps. Maybe not, though. Bruto. Orphan Boy. You like watching rehearsals, Tommy? That's so cool. When I grow up, I will, I'll work in the circus and be a great tamer. The Iron Orgur promised to teach me. He did? If Donnie teaches you, I'm sure you'll be the best in the world. Boy, I will teach him to respect and love the beasts so that they will obey and play with you. I should go to practice, kid. Don't get out of the stands or Petrescu will tell me off. Yes, sir. Seems weird. Snap out of it. Okay, we got the clock hand, so that's back to the main building. I'm surprised, like, I... Did just to kind of expect a point and click when I saw this, but yeah, it goes a bit beyond that. It's more like a, it basically is a RE clone, I guess, in a lot of ways. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Or actually, it just is an RE clone in general. Or you know, standard survival horror, backtrack, figure out where to go, what to do, stuff. But the enemies do respawn, that's a little weird. To... Fix up the nerf. Is it survival horror for the farm It hasn't been that easy, like... To just I mean it's easy now. The start it was kind of rough. But yeah, I mean it's That's is probably the biggest weakness. Like it I don't know why they decided respawning enemies. I guess because the it's just you know, having to farm ammo off them instead of just set number of enemies and Set number of ammo. But everything else... Tired again. Run, clown! We got the banana. Banana ready. Eight o'clock. Monkey's here. Gotta go. If we have to hurry, we probably don't, but two hundred sixty three. I guess there's not a ton of area, though, so maybe that's why there's the respawning enemies. What the hell? He does steal bullets when you die. Okay. I 
don't have a tonic on me. But, uh... Pretty sure... Still haven't gotten that ring. Hello? What? Poor Harry. Never meant for it to end like this. Is he dead? He's just drunk, he just drunk and threw up on himself. Pretty sure this is the door. This key. Oh no, it says first floor key. Wait, what's not open here? Oh, I know it. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm stupid. Europe first floor, not American first floor. Hello. What the hell? There's a key in there. Why are all the toilets connected to the outside now? Doors locked. I'm tired, like right on the screen transition. Like, what the hell's happening? A golden key. Ah! Help! Hey, ah. You're gonna see if you can drain a fountain. worth a shot, you know. I find a golden key. Never know. Huh? What the f Huh? Wow, it was here? Wait, that's what you say? You said, wow, it was here? Mr. Mills. You have a blank stare. I don't know what you're looking at, but be aware that it's not real. Here's a here, a little tonic will make you feel better. Kid, don't drink that tonic. My little Ollie, have you noticed that this cursed liquid attracts demons? Only helps rot your brain. Dr. Jasper doesn't want to see happy people happy. What would his life be without sick people? Huh? You, Alicia, they were just business to him. I won't use that poison again, Dr. Jasper. Since I took it, things have only gotten worse. You're going through a crisis, Mr. Mills. Try to think. I've been your guinea pig for years. It seems to me you are out of sorts. Enough putting ideas in my head. I don't want to see you again. Get out of here. 
Uh, we look a little, uh... Maybe we do need it. Hmm. Very well. As you wish. I'm leaving. If you need me, come find me. I'll deal with it on my own. Yes, yes, that's what I should do. <laughs> what is madness? I've wondered about this ever since I woke up in Penhurst. Tied with bandages that cut into my arms and legs. I think madness is living in a world with opposite rules. What I consider normal sounds silly or dangerous to everyone else. It's dark again. Are we the baddies? Trescu safe. Wow, I remember now. The old man kept this safe inside the, his wagon. Petrescu is decapitated there, I think. I remember that the old man kept Vlad Circus earnings in a safe inside his wagon. Joseph managed to open it and steal everything to go on a spree. He lo lost the money and got one of the worst beatings of his life. Instead, the circus almost went bankrupt because of him. What a jerk. Combination. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Chesu. I've already fed Montalbano. I'll see you tonight at the show. Can't pass. We're just a sad clown. How bad could we be? Doesn't matter. I just want my damn purse. Body shape. Okay. Just. Okay. And we might not have. Could be Joseph. But it's possible we're insane. We just went from 159 to 1. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, when did the. Uh, okay. Are you unaware that you're not supposed to listen to other people's conversations, kid? I've only allowed you to watch the rehearsals. Oliver assured me you wouldn't make any trouble. I, it's just that a spanking would teach you well. Gentlemen, it's a misunderstanding. The boys went into the wrong place. It was my fault. I asked Tommy to get some tools from my wagon. We need to repair the marquee. The rain burned out some light bulbs. I'll tell you something, orphan boy. If you cause any trouble, you'll never set foot in the circus again. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. I apologize, sir. Now get out of my sight. Truly sorry, Daisy Ollie. Don't worry, it was a misunderstanding. I think you came at the wrong time. Yeah, they were opening the safe. Never seen so much money before. Did you know that the combination is the wedding date of Petrescu's parents? Jesus, Tommy, don't say that it out loud. Joseph might kill you. Oh. Okay, the grave, wait. Where do I get the wedding day? The ring that I didn't want to touch. Maybe we pick it up with the cane? It's black at five. I don't mind that.
use his remote. Well, now I have a good reason to grab this thing. The wedding description side be Madison Laser and Jacob Petrescu. Descending into madness. Jessica's safe is open. Oh, there's only a small bottle inside. Energy time. It's that syrup that the old man used to drink to overcome fatigue and boost his strength before the shows. He wouldn't share it with anyone. Another of Ranjit's mixes. What is it? Ranjit, you're saying what you're saying cannot be true. The baby is normal. It's moving. It's kicking. He's my child. Are you trying to scare me? My lady, that child is no good. But there's nothing we can do. The stars are fading. No, no. Ranjit. It hurts, it hurts. Suddenly, a feeling of anguish has overwhelmed me. That's strange. Very sad clown. My good sir, Alicia is suffering from withdrawal. I have to nothing to relieve her. Oh dear. The child will be born soon. Oliver, fetch my purse. Yes, the purse. Don't just stand there, Oliver. Do something. Calm down, woman. I'll be back soon. Oh, hurry, I'm having control. Oh, late. Lazy Ollie, the child's name is not written in the stars. It hurts like hell. Gotta get to that on that boat. Lisa's condition is critical. Where the hell's the boat? Where's the boat? I have a cane. Sad clown. Hey, where the hell did that boat go? Oh, boat! I see bo boat. Go back. My boat. Tresky's boat. 
Kane. Hmm. I have an idea that might work. No, don't let it go. What are you doing? Doofus. Benancio? Well, if it isn't Romeo in search of the magic powder for his beloved, such a sweetheart. Your god will not like this, not at all. Where's Jake? Well, I put him back in his case where he belongs. I need that boat, Venancio. Run, you clown. Clown music. Hello? We're boat. need to get to the boat. I wish there was a way to run faster. Oh, there is a way to run faster. We have drugs. drink which is probably drugs like meth or something feel good as new Run, clown! <laughs> oh, here I am, damn it. Love conquers all right. I never thought you'd make it, Lazy Ollie. You're old. Get on board, Romeo. Your girl's purse is in Satan's wagon. Jeez. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, clown. It's loving you blind. Get on. Get a move on. Your darling is experienced withdrawal symptoms. God. <laughs> Are really going to bring her heroin now? Alicia, my beautiful sweet Alicia, this poor clown fell in love with you the very first time he saw you, but you were my best friend's girl. Love you, Ale, ever since I visited you at Penhurst Asylum to bring you Harry's messages. I didn't want to love you, but that's how I feel. Admitting it is liberation for me. I will not let you die. Six six six, of course. Too heavy. Why do I need to push it? Oh yeah, we're we gonna use the drugs even more. More drug.
It's too strong. So what am I even trying to do? Huh? Okay. That made sense. God, I found her purse. I dare not open it. I will honor Alicia. She never fully recovered from her heroin addiction. I think I'm the only one who knows it now. Found a purse? What are you waiting for? Come back, clown. Arrivederci, Romeo. Time to give someone hair? I guess. What? Huh? We killed everybody. We totally killed everyone. Where are the bodies? We're not just a sad clown. Oh god! What have we done? We're the saddest of clowns. No! What did we do? People! Uh, uh. So? Why is there blood in here? That wasn't there before. No. Oh no. Oh, nobody's in here. Guys? Did I kill all of you? I didn't mean to. the monkey. It's gone. Is everybody? What the frick? Ah. Oh no. What? Up. Clown, what did you do? Sorry, Ethan. Why? Why? Huh? Stab it. Door. <laughs> oh. Joseph Petrusky, have you seen my boy pass this way? In a way, you lost him, my friend? Typical of a first-time father. Of course not. I have released him for a while to look for some food. He has to learn that in this world, only the strongest survive. Your dear Alicia Breast. That whore only cares about her heroine. I'll go find my firstborn. I'll see you later. Bye. 
This is Joseph. He was also um, apparently survived electrocution. Where are you going, clown? But Nancio, I'm looking for Alicia. Jeez, never give up, huh? Wow, you really are in love. Do you have your ticket? Ticket? I don't need it. I'm lazy, Ollie. Have you gone mad? No way. If you want to enter the circus, you have to buy a ticket like everyone else. You know how old Petrescu can't stand gate, gate crashers? No way. Move, you damn puppet. Ow! The puppet shoot me? Jesus. Do you want to blow my brains out? No one enters without their ticket. No exceptions. Filthy puppet. Uh, one money. Two money. Money. Stuff is gone. Hello? Demon baby? What the? Oh god. Help! Help! No! Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wake up, you sleepy clown. Yum yum. Where is Darren? Where's Darren? What did her mom say there? Where's Darren? There has to be like some red bear hello oh god no baby no ow we don't have anything Rise and shine, little Ollie. Get up or your father will lock you in the cellar. <laughs> this game uh, definitely went somewhere. how you tell where a baby is. I mean, you can hear it, but... Uh, Jesus. It's gotta have something to do with the lights. Do I want... Definitely, it's, I think, has something to do with the lights, but I don't know if there's anything I can do. Ow!
things around. Oh, there's there the baby. Nah, uh, green's not safe, but I don't. <laughs> Some lights go on and off. I don't know why, though. Like this. See, it goes red off. White. Red off. Quick, get the money! I got a coin! <laughs> Grog. Uh, found demon baby. You lied to your best friend, you naughty boy. You must be punished. What is happening? I don't know if there's any hiding spots. Coin! Clock tower. There should be. Like, maybe I could... There's gotta be something to this that I'm just not seeing. What about this? Can I hide in here? Oh, I can take a shotgun. I'll take a shotgun. That sounds good. Oh, baby! Use the coin. I have to buy a ticket. Sad clown keeps getting eaten by baby. Sad clown. Baby doesn't like getting shot. That's what I figured. Get out of here. What's in the loot box here? Read. Is it money? I found the pistol. I 
don't know how much money I even need, so more I guess. Baby. Oh, I missed. No. Ow. Ow. This game's a little weird. This does probably here. Oh yeah, giant demon baby. It's okay, sad clown is taking care of it, I guess. hungry baby doesn't understand this is my hallucination I can't die in here can I where do I actually get the ticket Nom 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 nom. Mark yum yum yum. <laughs> See by that with a hundred bits. Nom. Nom nom. Is that my lantern? It's not. It's just a light. What the hell? The hell? Who's in here? I don't know who this is. The ticket booth. bit or whatever. You again. You're also in charge of the ticket booth. In these times of crisis, you can't make ends meet with a single job. I'm not lucky enough to have a psychiatrist who pays my rent. You're obnoxious, Venancio. Sell me a ticket, please, and shut your rotten wooden mouth. It'll cost 666 coins. Here's your ticket. Enjoy the show. Taking the meds. Maybe they were working. No, ow! <laughs> Sorry. To Thanks, sweetie. 
Yum 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 I didn't, you know, when I started this game, I didn't expect giant baby. Did anyone? Heroin, I guess. Do you have a ticket? Are you kidding me? You sold it to me. Ah, oh, yes, that's true. I think I'm a bit stressed. <laughs> uh okay the circus it's over there's no circus in just a sad clown in the ruins no strong man no Siamese twins, no horsey, no puppet show, no weird guy. God, what's going to happen? No bearded lady. Psychiatrist. Where the psychiatrist? Huh? Oh. Good afternoon. Do you know what time the last train to Scranville leaves? Three hours, sir. Kerosene. We're going to walk back to the house. Everyone's going to be dead. Well, you know what it is? We're Loomis. And the clown is Mike Myers. No, I don't know. Sad clown. We failed as a psychiatrist. We thought we were making progress. We thought the medicine was working. Then he refused to take it, but we didn't realize how far gone he actually was. 
Mike Myers a clown? No. I don't think. I don't know what he was. I don't remember. The fountain's broken. Oh, clown. Mr. Mills, I have received your letter. It said something about a meeting in a place with your old friends from Vlad's circus. We were going to rebuild the circus. Everything was going to be as it used to be, Doctor. But Joseph, Joseph, he's here alive and wants to take revenge on us. No, Mr. Mills. Joseph Petrescu was executed in the electric chair. They found him guilty of burning down the circus. Your friends died in the fire eight years ago. Only you survived, Mr. Mills. I'm sorry. I have to protect Alicia. Do you understand? She loves me, Doctor. As Alicia passed away with the rest, you told me yourself. You couldn't save her. Mr. Mills. Oliver. Let's get out of this place. You better get back to the asylum with me. A tonic will soothe you. Oh. It was all a hallucination. Thanks, sweetie. Never thought I could make it this far with a pain in my soul and a hole in my heart. But when the lights are turning around and wheels are rolling on the ground, that day I'll burn this whole place down when the circus comes to town. <laughs> Velby, thanks for the hundred bits. I liked it. Where's the clown now? The clown was the only survivor from the fire, I guess. But... But... Maybe at the end he snapped, though, and now he's a... I don't know. Yeah, he went back to the house and pretended the whole reunion was happening, and none of it happened. And he, I don't know. Relived his memories, I guess. Sad clown has good reason to be sad. Sure did. was crazy. He just wanted the circus to be back. There ought to be clowns, but all we have is sad clowns. from the circus. We weren't the killer, it was just survivor guilt. Then the psychiatrist came and found us, I guess. 